Hi, good morning. Uh, sorry about that. I got, I was caught. <laughs> I was in here ready to start five minutes early and then I was watching a steel toe clip by myself. And I got so into it that I just like, I looked up and it was two after six and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Hi everybody, good morning. I wasn't gonna do a show this morning. I was gonna have a later show today. But um, given the fact that there was no show Friday and no members show, I thought you guys would all scream. I, I, you didn't lose any shows last week, by the way. I did a show Wednesday, I did two shows Tuesday. You got the same number of shows. You just got them in a unorthodox delivery schedule. So I don't wanna hear, you know, everybody's always like, uh, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't even wanna do a schedule. Do you understand? I make myself do it for you people. But I was gonna do a late show today, and then Steel Toe goes last night and makes the announcement that April's done. April's off the show. You fucked us good Friday. I had to go out of town. I I, 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 um, I got no weekend. I've been out of town all weekend. I got in late last night. Um, so I've been gone Friday morning since, since Friday morning to now, or to last night. So I got no weekend, I got nothing done. I'm so behind on a million fucking things. I'm sorry. Shows haven't been posted up to the overdose. Uh, we're behind on the feeds. I can't get caught up. I'm one man, I can't get caught up. Maybe it's time we wrap this podcast. Maybe it's time we call it a day. Steel Toe One. Steel Toe One. Steel Toe One. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I really wanted to come back this week and do like non steel toe stuff. It was such a heavy handed steel toe time and people get, you know, I think people don't understand, you know, everybody likes to be an executive producer. Like, ah, oh, it's too much steel toe. It's like, I have to do what's happening. Chad's a snore fest right now. So I'm sorry we haven't been doing any Chad. Now, don't get me wrong, we can put on any Chad show and make fun of a fucking drunk, alcoholic, fetal alcohol syndrome having no parents that love him kind of guy. So we can make fun of him just for being the general Tito's titted locale that he is. I'm not saying Chad's not primed for the milking on any given occasion. What I'm saying is we do have to, like, when, stop, when Kevin Brennan's being an asshole every day to everybody, it's Kevin Brennan time. When Steel Toe is fundamentally admitting everything we've ever said about them out loud and April M. Holt slash April Anderson now has to run and get a new job to save the family when she's possibly not even at the house, when she's possibly sleeping at mama's. When all this is going on, how do we not talk about it? So I'm sorry, you know, when it rains, it pours and we have to get into this kind of stuff. I'm going to try today to leave it on a note that's not steel toe related. We're gonna try our best, but I can't, you know, I become really poor at judging the trajectory of a steel toe story. I can think we got an hour, hour and a half of steel toe content. And before I know it, we're sitting here on hour three and a half of watching five minutes of steel toe dissecting every mannerism, every limp-wristed, you know, cope he does. So I'd like to say we're gonna end on something today, not steel toe related. We're gonna have a laugh about something else, but who knows, who knows? The, the actual steel toe stuff we have to cover today, it's very small, but the ramifications, the seriousness, the outlandish nature with which movie is now admitting he's a narcissist he needs help he should have never hired april wait till we get to it wait till we get to it it's all here it's all happening he did it last night he admitted he hired her for selfish reasons he admitted he shouldn't have hired her first of all i thought she was an amazing talent that you discovered what do you mean you shouldn't have hired her what do you mean it was selfish <laughs> hold on by the way i love how he comes to these realizations he pretends he did it all on his own. He's like, you know, I've been thinking a lot about me and how I how I did this, and maybe it was a mistake. Yeah, we laid it all out. We've told you. You didn't come to this on your own. We told you what you did. 
We told you you were emotional. We told you you formed a trauma bond after getting fired. We told you you reinforced that trauma bond when you got kicked off Twitch and she held you while you weeped. While my retard gently weeps. And yeah, you panicked and were like, I don't know how I can get through anything without her. She holds me while I cry. And you proposed and you told her to quit your job. I figured out a great way to trick the internet into thinking I'm a guy. <laughs> Why don't you come be a guy? Why don't you come be a guy? Why don't you lay down the paint nozzle for good and come pick up a microphone? And she did. And she did. And it was a mistake. And he realizes it now. And boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. I, lo I just love that he's pretending like he's, you know, I've been thinking about it. Maybe I shouldn't have hired April. No shit. We've been yelling it for a year. We've been yelling it for a year. He wants to pretend like he didn't get all these little therapy sessions from Melton and, and, and company. He wants to pretend like Citizen M didn't put nails in his coffin. He wants to pretend like uh, Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit doesn't bug him. Don't forget, when Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit started, he laughed about it and pointed it out to his crowd. It was like, oh, that's cute. They're trying to start another Steel Toe Reddit because he had an official Steel Toe Reddit for his fans. And then the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit became bigger, where it was just trashing them. And then he shut down his official Reddit because he didn't want people going to Reddit. He literally shut down his official Reddit to stop sending people to Reddit because he was afraid that they would see the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit. <laughs> like, I, you, can't, you can't make it up. It, 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 the guy's insane. There's guys on Reddit talking about me? Don't go to Reddit. Don't go to Reddit. It's like, I mean, Jesus Christ. Having to do house chores is not quell. Then again, I do have the arms of a housewife. Pay up the $800, dick rider. Yeah, pay it, but first pay my salary, dipshit. Cool. Cool, cool. Wait a minute. Uh, I successfully flagged Melton's uh, it, video, but here he is making donation money. How could this be? I secretly want his super tip system. Hey, buddy. Um, did Kevin Brennan actually say that? You know, we were doing that show. Uh, I forget what day it was. And then we lost the monetization on it. And everybody was like, oh, no, Kevin struck your channel. And then Kevin, I guess... We weren't watching it, but I guess people said Kevin was saying he did it and bragging that he struck my channel. Literally, here's what happened. I'm not even kidding you. I get off. I go, look, YouTube AI had flagged something for nudity. It was literally the middle of a steel toe clip. There was no nudity at all. <laughs> I know, surprising. And I just clicked appeal, and in in two hours, it was it was appealed in the age restriction it was never flagged it was never copyright it was an age restriction which i didn't know takes away the ability to super chat or something i don't know i don't know either way um it had nothing to do with kevin brennan and it was a youtube ai mistake and it got overturned i tweeted the thing there was no he definitely did and on twitter see i'm blocked on twitter so i never see any kevin brennan tweets anymore who who knew who knew these guys were such bitches Chad and Kevin Brennan never stopped tweeting about me, I guess. They blocked me. I can't even see it. They're so tough. They had to hide me. Again, it doesn't do anything to me to block me. I'm still here. They're admitting they're so mentally ill they can't take it. I can't leave it. I can't even see Melton. I can't even look at that. I can't even look at that. And then they have to also talk about me and tag me when I'm blocked. I had no clue. I had no clue. He's... Um, so anyway, there was no, there was absolutely not even a report of a channel striking. So I don't know. I don't know why Kevin was saying he did something. He literally did nothing. And by the way, again, is this a cool guy? How long until everyone just realizes this guy's a sack of shit? <laughs> even, even if he did, I mean, he didn't, he didn't strike shit, but he's going around wishing he did and hoping he did. And again, you know, all these guys, they, they like. Kevin knows he didn't report it, my channel. He knows he didn't get a strike on my channel. What does he get out of saying that he did? What does he get out of going, I struck Mountain's channel? It's like, y'all, y'all all right? There was a guy we were arguing this weekend. 
I was uh, I had to just sit for hours somewhere. It doesn't matter what. Um, so I had a long time, and I was just arguing with somebody on Twitter. There's a guy on Twitter. He's he's positive. He's po- He remembers it. He has a memory of it. This is how broken these motherfuckers are. He's like, I remember watching it, Melton. Don't try to lie. I remember watching Melton say that he hired a PI to look into Cheetos after he accused Cheetos of beating up Chad. I was like, well, none of that, ha- none of that happened. Yeah, right, Melton. I, re- I watched it. I remember it. You, you watched me say Cheetos beat up Chad? Now, you watched me find a Facebook page where we said, wow, interesting. Cheetos was in Florida at the same time. No one levied an accusation. No one said anybody did anything. I said, isn't it crazy that Cheetos was in Florida, and the next morning after Chad was attacked, he flew home? No one accused Cheetos of it. We don't know anything. And I certainly didn't spend a dime of my own money hiring a PI to look into Cheetos. No one ever thought Chad didn't do it to himself. Ever. Ever. No one. No one. We all knew Chad was full of shit. Chad can't lie. Again, dumb people think they're smarter than everybody, so Chad thinks he's really pulling one over on everybody. No one guessed. No one thought that. So I, 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 and I told him, I go, I go, again, and I say this to everybody every time, you know, you're all so sure of everything. A thousand dollars to anybody can get a video of me saying I hired a private investigator to look into Cheetos. A thousand dollars. It should be easy. You're all sure you remember it. (laughs) <laughs> you you all you all want it to be true so much you remember a thing that didn't happen go find it and make yourself rich thousand dollars <laughs> is rich patrick yes yes i'll have to save up to give it to you i certainly don't have it on me you're all so a matter of fact five times i came out loud and said i didn't hire this pi one of chad's best friends was i'm not kidding you One of Chad's best friends hired this PI because he didn't believe Chad. Oops, he. No one ever thought it was Cheetos, you losers. But again, they're all so desperate to be right. They remember a thing that didn't happen. They all remember it. They're all sure of it. No one can find it. (laughs) This guy even was like, I tweeted it when it happened, idiot. And then he went back and got the tweet. And it was just a tweet of him saying it again. Melton just accused Cheetos and hired a PI. Well, that does prove it. Well, you said it six months ago, too? I guess that does mean it happened. Since you lied about it now and you lied about it six months ago, I guess it happened. His proof that he went and got was him just saying the same thing six months ago. Again, it would be everywhere. No one can ever get me on anything. They all can just say it. They all say it. And what's, what's crazy is I'm not even saying I don't ever lie or make a mistake or I'm wrong about stuff. It happens all the time. I talk nonstop for hours. Of course, I'm wrong constantly. <laughs> but I assure you, I'm very careful when I talk about things that, that come this close to legal matters. I never hired a PI to look into Chad for anything. Someone else did. And I clarified that a million times. But you all remember me doing it, right? Oh, I want it to be true so bad, didn't he? He did it, didn't he? No. No. And certainly no one ever took the Cheetos. Again, you can go back and watch that Chad show. I literally look at the camera while Chad's on the phone talking to me, rolling my eyes. I literally look at the camera and go, while Chad's talking. No one believes Chad. No one's ever believed Chad. That's just a fact. DK. Uh, Buzzy, please pick up a load of Minnesota gold lager for Hackamania, Smokey and the Bandit style, and bring it on in. We can drink to scrimp. I'll also sponsor for the Valve painting contest, Earl versus Ray and Ozone versus Colt C. We're going to have a Valve painting competition. Hello. Hey, Pat, what's up? Yeah, I remember the Cheetos thing pretty well. Um, I'm actually the guy I tipped you off to it. Um, because it was February. It was the prize night in February for Steel Toe where Cheetos won. And right. so I was like, who the fuck is this Cheetos guy? Went to his Facebook page, saw he was in Florida, and then like the next day after I looked at his Facebook page, Chad got hit. Right. So I DM'd you and said, hey, this is interesting. And you're like, almost like uh, in court, in, in, uh, 
almost didn't believe me. Like, you think this happened? I'm like, I'm not saying I think it happened. I just think it's it just Yeah, it was, it's worth bringing and, up. Yeah, any any never, police officer would have brought that up. Like, it was an interesting thing. A guy right. from Minnesota who's best friends with your enemy was in town when you got right. jumped, allegedly. So, yeah, any cop would have, like, brought that to light. But even in our DMs, you were like, I don't think so. But, you know, so you never believe that. And it was just really um, just a coincidence that you brought to light. That was it. Right. I mean, it's worth taking a look at every possibility. And, again, a guy being many states away mm -hmm. and flying home the day after it happened is suspicious. But, again, Aaron's a giant pussy. Cheetos is like a fucking fat, overweight, wannabe biker guy who, again, just owns some bar in backfuck Minnesota. Like no one, no one thought Cheetos flew down here and beat Chad up. And by the way, remember Chad said it was like two guys, and they kept kicking him. And Chad thought he was gonna die. He was down on the ground covering his hand, even though none of his arms have bruises on him. Remember he was doing this, but none of his his arms didn't have bruises. No one believed any of it. No one believed any of it. We just kept letting him bury himself because Chad's that kind of guy. Chad's the kind of guy that when he talks. He doesn't understand that he's hurting his case because he's dumb. <laughs> he's too dumb to talk. Uh, thank you, DK. Shit show. SJ offered to fly to France for a fucking. Yeah, you wanted to fly April to France to fuck. Hey, sick tits. It's your turn to get some day laborers from the Home Depot to feed mama her supper. Damn it, April. We lost a lot of good men in there with you fucked up supper missions. Good men, men with families. Can't we just cut the wall out of the trailer and forklift her Jesus to the Chinese Christ. buffet again? Jesus. Look here, you fill the trough with the obbies. You back out slowly. I will make you mine. Uh, I love people whose voices, they're so fat and lazy, they can't even get their vocal cords to move. She just has a raspy, you know, airy voice. I'm tired out here. <laughs> it's like she can't even lift her vocal cord. She's so lazy. I'll get the truck. And I'll go get the truck. I can't do it, but she does it. She does it. Johnny Walk Johnny Walkrell. Amadeus, member for ten months. A few high rollers have asked me to per, uh, pursue my quest to become Hackamania's inaugural digital ambassador slash curator. Even Ray backs me, hooked me up. You, you got it. You got it. You wanted to be it, and you wanted to be in charge of the streaming and everything. Okay, you're in charge. Stop talking to me. Do it. Don't ever fucking talk to me again. Hackamania streaming better be a success. It's all in your hands now. Good luck. Good luck. Don't approach me again. I don't micromanage. So you handle it. It's all in your hands. You let people know where to watch it, when to watch it, how to watch it, how much it costs. You let him know. Mr. Panhandler, hey, buddy. <laughs> We're done. I, 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 I had lunch. I've never been more confused, and I, I mean this in a genuine way. I, I had lunch with Panhandler. He was a completely normal guy. And since we've got back, he's doing this, like, weird. It, again, I can tell it's not true aggression, but it's just, like, constant, like, insults and, like, this negging, like, I like a girl in my class kind of way, but I don't know how to tell her. Like, seriously, that's what it feels like. It, it's insane. It feels like a crush from a guy. And just constantly, if I'm late or if I, it, like, just never stops nitpicking. And so now he's blocked on everything. I just can't. I don't know what's going on, and I can't. Do you understand that? It feels immature. It feels childish, and I don't have time for it. So, again, Godspeed, Panhandler. We'll see you in uh, August. We've moved Hackamania to August. Uh, FKA Mommy, $2. Can we at least... Pledge the flag, unpatriotic fuck. Pledge it. Pledge it. Oh, flag. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking corn dev. Hitting the like button is cool. That is true. That is true. Hit the like button. 600 people watching already. How many likes, huh? 110. 110 likes. Not bad. But we could be doing a lot better. And then here's Wizard Nug kicking us off today with the membership gifting platform. <laughs> and that means Wizard Nug's gonna have to go in our in our old. Where's my pen? Where's uh, life's getting tough? Wizard Nug, is it? 
By the way, my handwriting is so bad that if anybody's missing on our honor roll, please, please reach out and tell me you're missing. Don't ever be embarrassed about that. I owed Citizen M money for uh, like months, a hundred bucks, but I, I forgot all about it. He never even said word boo to me. You understand there are like people in this community who will like threaten to drive to my house and eat my dog if I like don't answer their email. <laughs> so props to Citizen M. He may not be the autistic Spurg we all thought he was. There might be more there than meets the eye. Not sure. Either way, Wizard Nug, thank you very much. Today's executive producer, oh, Teamster Tim, the guy who video called me at 4.01 a.m. 4.01 a.m. this morning, a video call from Teamster Tim. 4.01 a.m. FaceTime call, Teamster Tim. I got, I got, you know, and then, by the way, I, I, I got to get, for everyone who spurgs out and is a weird Member of this community, I got to give props to like normal people. Sweaty tryhard, normal guy. Sweaty tryhard was like, well, this will make him sound not normal. Sweaty tryhard was like texting me. <laughs> Again, anybody can like text me. Patrick at nobody likes onions.com. If, if you type that in your iMessage, you can text me. And here they come. But the point is, you know, it's not, it's like texting's like email. I, it doesn't really bug me for like fans to text me and stuff. I'm not dumb. I put my phone on do not disturb at night. You're not going to wake me up and shit. But I woke up the other day, sweaty try hard. <laughs> was texting me at like three in the morning and I woke up and I got him and I was like, please don't. I don't even know why I said, please don't text me at three in the morning. Like, again, it doesn't like ring my phone or anything. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> texting me at 3 a.m. Like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, oh, I didn't even think about the time difference. And then, but he apologized and was like, oh, man, I'm sorry. No, no worries. It's not only that. By the way, everybody, it's not only that. It's not like, it's not that I don't appreciate you emailing me and texting me a video or a news story or, like, whatever. It's just it will be lost. It's, if it really is important, if it really is cool, cool, if it's really something funny, if you really want me to see it, don't text me. Do not DM me a link. By the way, too, I, can I unsubscribe from everybody's shitbox notification services? I don't need it. I don't know what planet you're on where you think I don't know what's going on with Steel Toe. I do not need your instant message on whatever platform where you think we're friends on telling me like, holy shit, did you just see what happened with Steel Toe? Even if I didn't, I will. I don't need your notification. I, 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 holy shit, Chad's live. Thanks. YouTube has a mechanism for that. If I want to know when Chad goes live, I'll know. I'll know. What would I do if 17 people didn't text me, Chad's live? What would I do? So again, I, I don't know if people are stupid or just don't think. It's like, I don't need your notifications. <laughs> Steel Toad live. Steel Toad just did a show. Steel Toad just said this. Some guys will email me nine times during one Steel Toad show. Oh, my God, he just said this. Oh, my God, April's. Oh, oh, oh God, he just did this. Oh, my God, you got to go watch this part. <laughs> it's a little much. It's a little much. And, again, I'm not even saying I don't want to know what you're trying to tell me. I'm saying you're making me not pay attention to you. When you email me 10 times a day, I pay less attention to your emails. Sorry. That, that's how anything works. If a fire alarm went off in your, in your apartment nine times a day, you'd ignore it eventually. You'd be like, I'm sick of, you know, jumping up and running outside. Help me respect you. We have a place on our Discord. Number one, I understand everybody doesn't use Discord, but we do have a place on our Discord for videos that you think would be great on the show. It is the number one best place to go. I'm just letting you know. If you want something for me to see and not lose and you think would be great on the show, post it to the NLO clip suggestions on, on the channel on the Discord. Period. Period. Don't post it in another channel and tag me. I'll lose it. I'll never find it again. I'll never find it again. So that's great. DMing me on Twitter. Oh my God, look at this video. 
I'll never find that video. I'll never remember where I got messaged it. I'll never remember who. I'll never remember where to go to find it. I'll never find it again. So I guess keep doing it, but I shall lose track of whatever the fuck you're trying to get me to pay attention to. Second best would be email. Second best would be email. But again, I would I would implore you to not have to email me 10 times about the same show or thoughts. Again, some people don't even type anything in the message. They just type subjects. And they'll, they'll email me 10 times a day with just a subject. Like, oh my God, did you see Chad? He really is retarded. Like, that'll be the whole email. He really is retarded. I, I'm not saying we're not best friends. We clearly are. <laughs> I don't have all day. I don't have all day to uh, talk with you. I really don't. <laughs> I, I wish I did. I wish I did. What the heck, April? Your mom drank the last 10 Cesius Ultra Mango Berserk. I didn't touch your 300 calorie diet drinks. Mama, uh, stop thrashing. I got to roll you over and scrub you back flaps. Mama, stop thrashing. It was a wet, sticky night in the bayou. I was on my fifth highball and last cigarette from a crumpled pack of Viceroy's when my office door flung open. There he was. A tall drink of water silhouetted in the yellow light spilling in from the ante room. I Detective Mersh. I need your help. I'll pay anything. No, I don't look. I again, I can't stop anybody. I know I sh I shall get a million texts and and DMs and and stuff still. I just I know for a fact I had a guy get mad at me cuz he sent me a video and then I never played it on the show. I forgot and I couldn't find it and I didn't know where I got sent it. I just like it happens. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know I'm not good. Basically, I'm putting it on me. I'm not good enough to remember you and where you messaged me and how to find a video. It's too much. It's too much. You know, and this is just the people actually trying to help. Imagine all the people sending me stuff fucking with me, you know, and, and trolling me and shit. It's enough to make your wife want to quit the show. Can someone pick up three commemorative Hackamania magnets for me? One each for my kitchen. Mike Ash and I'll put a beer. We're going to have magnets. And bedside snack fridge. I'm going to look into magnets today. It will go right next to my This Car Climbed Mint Washington. This Car Climbed Magnet. Mount Washington. We're getting magnets. We're getting magnets for real. I don't know how we don't. Hey, y'all. FKA Mommy here. <laughs> Got my whitey stomping boots on this morning. Jeez. So all y'all trying to mess with me and chat better get ready to bite the curb. She's racist. Truly network for life, dog. She might be racist. Uh, Gobbles, the monster puppet member for 11 months. Is April still alive? Is her Aaron become the new Chris Watts? Nobody's seen her. Nobody's seen her in two weeks today. Two weeks today. Can April fly solo? <laughs> she is now. Mama! Can April fly solo? I love that that was her last show. Do you understand how poetic it is? I know I mentioned it last week, but do you understand how poetic that is? Her last appearance ever on the program was, Can April fly solo? It's like, no. No, she can't fly with anybody. You had to know at that point. On that night, you had to know she was a wreck. At that night, on that day, when she flew solo, <laughs> you had to know it was over. This didn't come out of nowhere. Can April fly solo? <laughs> ah! Ah, just to be there when he made that title. Uh, Gobbles, thank you. Somebody, we, we do need to find her. We do need to find her. Vincenzo, member for seven months. Oh, my God. Did you see April of Steel Town? I hadn't. I hadn't. Send me a link. Doug W., member for nine months. 99 cent super sticker, dancingbird.gif. 99 cent super sticker, dot dancingbird.gif. I think that's a domain name. Uh, rerun, member for nine months. Hey, babe. And LL Cooley. Hey, best friend. Panhandler's telling me there's a venue change. Any truth to that? I'll text you just in case. Preferably when you're sexting Kathleen. I, uh, we're at Chuck E. Cheese now. We've actually moved over to the good Arby's. 
the good Arby's. I haven't had a chance to update the weather. I, I haven't. Look, I didn't get a weekend. And again, I was going to, I, I, you guys got me because I was really going to uh, call in sick today or phone it in. And then I thought, you know, you don't get to do that. Why do I get to do that? I really am tired. I'm so fucking tired. I didn't get one good night's sleep this week. I'm at a point now, I don't know if it's just an age you reach. I can't sleep anywhere but my bed. I can't sleep anywhere but my bed, which is a Casper. I need my pillows. I'm becoming real. I'm a uh, pillow princess. Is that the Onion term? man inundated with DMs. Fans flood his inbox. He condemns. I don't. Don't talk to me. He cries. Irate. Sailor moon fury. He can't abate. Networks buzz with his pungent plight. Onion man's anger. A comic sight. He yearns for peace. A moment's rest. But fans persist. His patience test. I know, and Ozone's like, you're going to get way more now. I know, like, I know how it works. I snapped at a fan yesterday. I had, I, again, I'm out of town. I'm not sleeping well. Some fan emailed me yesterday. It was like, and again, it was like the third email of the day, so I'm not crazy. I wake up at, at 4.30 a.m. Sunday morning, and then I go for a walk with my dog while it's still dark. And then I went to um, Dutch Brothers Coffee to get a coffee. This is a true story. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I don't for one minute think I'm think I think I'm balanced and have it all together. I, I'm not good. I snapped at a guy on email yesterday, and then like hours later, after I fucking you know processed it all and realized what I did, I had to go tell him I'm sorry. But at least I did that. I, I, look, I'm not perfect, man. I snap at people. This guy's talking to me. He's sending me 90 emails a day. Sure. Is it annoying? Yes. But he's also like just talking to a guy, a show that he loves. You know, he's not. Why am I being the asshole? Anyway, I, I felt I make mistakes, man. I'm not good. I'm not good. All I can do is try. All I can do is try, try to recognize when I make mistakes and uh, move on. You know, I'll never be steel toe. I'm resigned to that. No matter how much I make Kathleen come in here and try to do the show with me. It's never going to, we're never going to have that kind of chemistry and magic. <laughs> but I, I, I go to Dutch Brothers Coffee yesterday. And again, I'm in my, you know, very, very nice Lexus. And I go through the drive-thru. I order my coffee. I'm pulling around. And I hear my back driver's side wheel scraping on the curb. And I... I had the reaction that it was like my teeth scraping on the curb in American History X. I pictured my 20-inch 20 20-inch 20 gunmetal premium arachnid rims... <laughs> scraping on a curb and i was like ah ah john espadillo says 800 uh calorie coffee I, that you got the wrong guy you got the wrong guy i'm not that guy at all you don't know me at all anyway i got so mad and flustered by scratching my rims that i drove straight through the drive-thru and didn't get my coffee i was so mad i was like fuck like fuck and as soon as the car in front of me went, I just drove straight through. Like, I didn't pay or anything either, but, like, I just I, I, I did. And then I'm so dumb, you know, I get down the road and I go, great, now you don't have coffee and your rims are scratched. I drove to get coffee, which is already the whitest thing you can do. No, having it delivered, I guess, I guess would be the whitest thing you can do. Um, yeah, but I do. Patrick's like me. He likes it black, says mommy. But, yeah, I do. Uh, I'm all my car's black on black on black on black. Everything's black. Interior, exterior, black, black, black. Wheels, wheels. You know, again, gunmetal black. And just to scrape it. And I'm so stubborn. Again, I get down the road. Coach King's laughing at me. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an emotional fucking idiot. I got so mad. I sped through the drive-through like it was their fault. <laughs> and technically, it is. They put the curb there. You know, they put the curb there. 
I was so fucking mad. I was so mad. And then I didn't have my coffee. And so I got all sad. Gunmetal is not black, but yeah, that's why I, that's why I clarified it. That's why I specified it. Or otherwise I would have said black, stupid. Thank you, though. Thank you for telling me I had no clue. Gunmetal's not black? Huh. Let me get my pen. Make a note. You people don't deserve to breathe the same air as me. <laughs> um, NatClo 2.0. I've been told people not to email you and bother you with nonsense. Great show so far. I don't. I, I take it all back. E email me and bug me about anything. I got I to gotta get over it. I got to get over that. That's me. What I get what I get frustrated by is that I can't keep track. It's more my organizational process. It's like I can't keep DM here, DM there, DM there, an email here, a message there. Like I just can't organize it all. Somebody, you know, I want it all in like one nice place, but I guess it's too much to ask. Um and I need to adjust. It, that's probably the truth. It's probably the truth. I'm broken. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, we'll find a better way. Flatcat Jessica said, we know it's you. Hey, bitch, if there's anyone that it's it's it, besides me, it's you. You're gone. You're gone. And by the way, this one might be for weeks, Jessica. I, I've had enough. And say goodbye. Say goodbye, bitch. Say goodbye, bitch. No, I can't. I can't even do it. I'm not even, like... We know it's you. There ain't no more broken bitch. There ain't a more broken bitch in my chat than flat cat. <laughs> Don't worry. I, uh, the delay. Don't worry. I didn't really ban her. Calm down. I'm not actually angry at any of you. I just like to yell. It's part of my comedy. There's actually something inside me. Again, I didn't want to do a show today. I was in a bad mood. The minute I start yelling about my rims and Teamster Tim calling me at 4 a.m., I feel good. I'm happy. I'm starting to grin. I'm giggling. <laughs> Teamster Tim calls me at 4.01 a.m. I, 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 this is just my life, just so everybody knows. This is my life. 4.01 a.m., my phone starts ringing. Video call from Teamster Tim. Again, I, I wake up at 4. I woke up at 4 today. So one minute after my alarm goes off, this guy's calling me. And then I just immediately declined the call, and I said, and I text him, no, do not call me at 4 a.m. I'll slit throats. Now, 21 minutes later, Teamster Tim yells at me, How can I call you, dickweed? I don't have your number. You're welcome for the plug. Now, I don't even know what the you're welcome for the plug thing is, but if you plug me somewhere, thank you. I don't know what he's talking about. I said, you video called me. And then I, you know, I sent him the screenshot of it. Can that? That's today. And I said, why would I tell you don't call me at 4 a.m. unless you called me at 4 a.m.? I'm not randomly texting people in my phone book, don't call me at 4 a.m. You know, Flimsy Greenberg didn't get that text this morning. Just out of nowhere. Hey, Flimsy, by the way, don't call me at 4 a.m. <laughs> and he's like, okay. New rules? And then he goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I drove my kid to work. Must have butt dialed. I've never butt dialed anyone in my life. What is this? But dial. Everyone has a problem with but me. And let me tell you something, ladies. It might have something to do with the fact that every fucking woman I've ever seen in my life, I've watched them put their phone away in their pocket or their purse with the screen fully lit up. Not locked. I'll say it again. Every woman I've ever seen in my life puts her phone away with the screen fully showing all their apps. Into their pocket. Uh, I wonder how that happens all the time. I wonder. I've never butt dialed anyone. First of all, my butt doesn't have fingers and can't read. Butt dialed.
butt dial. Whew. Again, you know dumb women, Pat. Again, every woman I know, cracked phone screen. Cracked phone screen. Every woman I know, they've had their phone screen repaired eight times. Still cracked. It'll, it'll still be cracked to this day. Now, again, this is back when I was dating, of course, so it's been a few years. So I've, I don't really examine women's phones anymore. They don't like that when you just grab them. Every woman I ever, you know, like cracked phones, lit up phones, putting them away, butt dialing all the time, all the time. FKA mommy says, not me. FKA mommy, you're a responsible woman with a career. We know that you're miles and miles above people. I'm talking about these fucking slag sluts, the gaws and the KBs of the world, you know? These fucking broken bitches. <laughs> we just, I'm going to use ga for everything since she's not around anymore. Since you guys drove her away from our chat. Ga! Ga! Every girl you would ever go on a date with, every girl you would ever like hook up with, every girl you would ever meet at a bar, put your number in their phone, they, they ask for your number. They're all cracked. They're all cracked. You look at their fingers, they're all bleeding from glass shards. <laughs> These stupid, stupid bitches. Ga bounced. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're fat. She probably did bounce. It's too bad your phones don't bounce. No, they crack. They all fucking crack. Uh, Sam B says, good for Ga. She broke away. She didn't. She emailed me. She's, she's like, I'll see you at Acomania. I just am laying low because everyone's so mean to me in the chat, particularly Sam V. Sam V's decidedly vicious when it comes to the chat. <laughs> um, all right, we got we got Steel Toe today. And we're going to hopefully, you know, and today's Steel Toe is so boring. So hopefully, you know, Steel Toe's done. Hopefully now we just wait for them to run out of money and... Um, Movie quits, and and then we all die. Oh, did I do the high rollers? Did we show the high rollers for today? Here's the high rollers that go along with today's sponsor, Teamster Tim. Anyway, Teamster Tim butt dialed me, and he's the skinniest guy with the smallest butt. So I don't even know. I don't even know if I believe him. Your butt dialed me? We're the only species in the world that blame, blame something on a part of our body. Sorry, my penis raped you. <laughs> Sorry, I must have penis raped you. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't me. I didn't dial with my finger, idiot. So I'm I'm completely innocent here. <laughs> if you hold on, so like normal dialing is with a finger. If you do it with your butt, it's okay. Normal rape is with a penis, but if you do it with your tongue or toe. Oh, God, just because I toe-raped you. Just because I stuck my big toe in and didn't ask. Please, please. Uh, this is a clip that Fearless uh, sent in last week. We started to watch it, and we never bailed. Are we? And then we got sidetracked and bailed on it. Um, the title of it is Melton Just Wants to Plug Steel Toe Size Hole in His Heart. This is basically them giving me some advice. And boy, oh boy, is it great this morning to watch this. So this has been opening my tabs. We're going to knock it out today. It's not a five-minute clip, but who is it interesting to watch? And when is this from? March 2023. So about a year ago. Here we go. For the show tonight, so. Oh, you did. It stands out a little more. Who knows? Oh, that's much shaved, shaved everything around it before the show tonight. Shaved everything around it before the show tonight. Shaved everything around it before the show tonight. That's what she said. <laughs> tonight, so. Oh, you did. It stands out a little more. Who knows? Oh, that's much better. Who knows what happens? I don't know. This is when he first started growing that beard and was like, hello. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm a guy. I'm a pretty... I don't know either. Well, it's still very patchy, so... 
We'll wait for it to come in. But we have a holy shit. We have a lot of news for you tonight. A lot of show stuff, a lot of news news, a lot of entertainment stuff, a lot of news news. Goofy ass stories. We're all over the place tonight. 245 away from overtime. Two and a half hour show on the line. We've been great. You guys were awesome. We've been great. (laughs) Here's April with her knob. Uh, Doing her knobs. Watch. Five away from overtime. Two and a half hour show on the line. We've been great. Knobs. We've been great. We've been awesome. We've been great. Tonight, 2.45 away from overtime. Two and a half hour show on the line. We've been great. You guys were awesome for the prize show last night. Thank you for being so supportive of this program. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, I keep wanting to call him uh, Melton. Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Melton. Hello. What's his name? (laughs) Oh, no. What's his name? What's his name? He was incensed about our prize show. Was he really? He was really mad. I- this is their favorite thing, too. They love doing this. I've never been really mad at Steel Toe in my life. I don't know you. You're like, you're a morning show I would have never known about ever if it weren't for Chad. I don't know you. I've never been really mad. He was really mad. Okay. Didn't know about this. Oh, my God. Aww. Like, he was throwing a fit In the over chat? our prize show. Or... No, just... I want, just one time I want to find the show these people are talking about. You know, everyone has these memories. Like, whoa, Melton was throwing out. He was fucking mad. Can I see the clip he's talking about, please? I, I, I just want to know what he thinks Matt is. Having, having a personality? Projecting? <laughs> you know? Not just sitting there in monotone? I, I don't know. I've never been mad. I don't. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you at all. I've never been mad. You don't hold anything. (laughs) You you have no power. What am I mad about? Luis J. Gomez. I remember watching Patrick Melton's soul melt out of his face. Can I see that clip? Again, you all remember it. I remember when Melton said he hired that PI to go after Cheetos. Can I see the clip? You all remember it. You fucking girls. You fucking emotional wastes. You all remember things that didn't happen. Can I see the clip? (laughs) Fuck. I bet I'm laughing in it. I bet I'm laughing in it. He was so mad. He was sawing off one of his toes, trying to beat the diabetes to it. He was so angry. (laughs) I was. It's like on the internet in general. Like, I think he's been trying. He was, oh, hold on. This is good. For our prize show. No, just like. In our chat? No, on the internet. He was doing this on the internet. God, like he was throwing a fit. Um, Sam B says, I got the clip of Gomez saying he took your soul. No, not Gomez. Red Bar. No, Louis J. Gomez said that he remembers watching a clip of me. And he said, I remember watching the soul. Melt out of Patrick Melton's face while Red Bar was like yelling at him. And I was like, what? What clip is that? Sam V's so lost. Yeah, no one's saying we can't find the clip of Gomez. <laughs> I want to know what the clip, what's the clip where the soul melted out of my face? That's the clip. That's the clip we're trying to find. We're not trying to find the clips of guys making claims that there are clips. That's the easy work, Sam. You got to find, you got to go. And here's the thing. It doesn't exist. So you're never going to find it to post. You got to go to Lewis J. Gomez and go, what was that? Remember that clip you saw where Melton, like his whole face melted on the screen? What? Cl- when was that? What show was that? Oh, I don't know. But I remember watching it happen. Right, right. What was that clip when, uh, Mel- when Melton came out and said, I hired a PI. We think it's Cheetos and we're going to get to the bottom of it. What was that clip? What was that clip? Oh, it didn't fucking happen. But you said you saw it. You said you remember it. Uh, 
in the over chat? our prize show. Or... No, just like on the internet in general. Like I think he's been trying to grab onto the steel toe coattails a little bit to kind of Hey-o! jumpstart his stuff. And I and by the way, I've always said God bless anyone who wants to do that. Hold sure. On. God- there's a ton of red bar season 15 with you and Mike going back and forth. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Good luck taking all that up. There's a ton of footage of that. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people right now trying to boost their signal using steel toe. God bless. You You don't see us having a hard time. Just spell. You don't see us having a hard time. You want a signal boost off steel toe? You want to try to get a little clout from the old toe? You wouldn't be the first one. We don't mind. You don't see us having a tough time. Signal using steel toe. God bless. You You don't see us having a hard time. Just spell the name right. We're having a great time <laughs> over here. If it- hey, why don't you spell the name right? On the applications you'll be filling out this week, Slore. Why don't you spell your name right? April Anderson. Gives you, if it makes you have a great time by trying to signal boost off of us, I'm a happy guy. It's so insane because at their max, they might have had 600, 700 viewers live. Signal boost? Like, what are you talking about? You're one of the... It'd be like somebody signal boosting off of me. Huh? Huh? It it shows you what he thought of himself back then. But he was mad about that. Mad. Boost off of us. I'm a happy guy. But he was mad about that prize show. I'm a happy guy. But he was mad about that. Mad. That prize show. What was his complaint? Well, here's the thing. It was our most watched prize show ever. Those, uh, like April was saying, the evening show. Well, that makes it not illegal. (laughs) Here's the thing. It was our most watched prize show. So I think the Minnesota Attorney General will understand that. Like, look, we did rob a bank, but we stole the most that's ever been stolen in a bank robbery. So, you know. Numbers now are where the morning show numbers were when we first started. on. Whoa, hold on. Fearless says there were 399 watching him live this morning, and he claimed it was pushing 800. Their members only show got 90 views on uh, on Rumble last night. We saw the number. Was saying the evening show numbers now are where the morning show numbers were when we first started on YouTube. It's Skyrocketing. remarkable. Skyrocketing. Skyrocketing, she said. And then uh, on between Rumble and YouTube, we got 800 people at a time in the morning and about 500 or so in the evening. Uh, you know, bigger than anything we walked away from. So now he's saying that 800 people watching is bigger than anything he walked away from. But remember when he said they were going to go back to terrestrial? That was the only way to reach a bigger audience. There were thousands of people waiting for them back on terrestrial. But here he says 800 is more than anything they ever walked away from. Is this an admission that 800 people were not listening to him on FM radio? Now, look, it's hard hard to, like say anything's true because he lies so much especially about numbers he said 800 people are watching that's more than anything we ever walked away from so he's saying 800 people watching is more than he had on terrestrial radio right in the evening YouTube. it's remarkable and then uh on between rumble and youtube we got 800 people at a time in the morning and about 500 or so in the evening uh, you know, bigger than anything we walked away from. So that's very exciting. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. But the prize show is always something that the audience enjoys. And, and here's my thing. The prize show is always something the audience enjoys. Here's my thing. I've always thought if the audience is really enjoying something and you don't enjoy it, we'll get to that in a second. Thank you, Pro Guns. Whoa. <laughs> uh, we will, uh, we'll, now I'm distracted. I know, me too. I'll, I'll bring that off the uh, the screen for a little bit here. But um, they had to hide something from the screen so that they both could focus. Both of them were distracted by something on the screen while they tried to talk. He had to move it so that they could talk. Two adults had to hide something from themselves so they could focus. (laughs) 
the I've always thought that if the audience really likes something, then there's really no reason for you to, if you don't like it, to really get upset. Like you don't need. To I don't not like it. I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't enter it if there was a way to enter it for free. No one wants your stickers. No one wants a VIP membership. And believe me, no one wants a steel toe reborn, re reborn, born again to 2021 steel toe slash Twitch shirt. Nobody wants that. No one wants that. Second of all, the argument that if the audience enjoys it, who who's to say anything? It's just a law. It's just a law, man. It's just a law. I, again, no one cares. No one's mad and no one's upset. Your audience members are too dumb to realize you're ripping them off. That was the number one concern. You're ri you are ripping off. You were stealing. You were lying and stealing from people who are too dumb to know that that's what you were doing. So that was the main thing I was pointing out. That was the main thing I was pointing out. Number two, you're breaking state federal and 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 youtube regulations just across the board you're not complying at any level with anything so it's just funny it, again it's funny when a guy goes i read the youtube regulations and we're doing everything by the book it's just laughable it's like the youtube regulations are a page long it's not like hard to decipher or understand language it's very clear cut it has to be fair you have to have rules posted. You have to have a website. You have to have a secure way to co collect winner's information. You have to post up a privacy policy and, a, and an information policy about what you do with that information. And you got to make all that public and also provide a, a, a non-financial means for people to be able to enter without paying anything. This is very clear. You don't comply with any of it. Like step one, you don't comply with. Post the rules to the contest. What are the rules? You don't comply with that. So, you know, again, we called this a year ago that you didn't have access to your website. We watched as nothing ever changed on that website for a year. And then we watched you let the domain lapse. And if you think we're not grabbing Steel Toe Entertainment the minute it's ready and f just forwarding that to nobody likes onions, you're out of your mind. The argument that it, I've always thought if the crowd enjoys it, who's anybody to say anything? The crowd enjoyed gladiator blood splorts in, in, in ancient times in Rome. Does that mean it's humane? Does that mean it's right? Does that mean, I mean, does that mean no one should have anything to say about it? You fucking idiot. You know, and and a meth and your the the meth dens where your wife goes and have orgies. I bet everyone thinks everything's great in there. Does that mean it's healthy and safe? Does that mean the open wounds and sores in between her toes will heal and there shall be no scars? No. no. Mercer's Journal, April 15th, 2024. <laughs> dark out. It's dark as it gets. This city is afraid of me. I have seen its true face. The streets are extended gutters and the gutters are full of blood. Tonight, a scrimp died in Minnesota. I don't think she's dead. I think she's coming back bigger and more powerful than ever. Thank you for joining Big W. If that is your real name. You get mad about it. Like, we don't, we don't have a rule on this show that, like, you have to love everything we do. And, think and even if you did have a rule, it wouldn't be posted anywhere. I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it. It, you don't have to get long. upset. Yeah, you don't have know. to get upset. You don't have to get angry. He was mad that we were uh, doing a free drawing for 250 bucks. He called it a raffle. And he called it a raffle. And I read YouTube's rules about raffles and drawings and things like that before we came here mm -hmm. to see if we could do the prize show. It's very, very simple. That $15 does not buy you a ticket to the drawing. Buys it, stickers. It get it buys you two stickers, and mm -hmm. as a thank you for buying the stickers, we say, "Hey, free entry into a, a drawing for two hundred fifty bucks if you'd like it." It's stickers with benefits. Yeah. If you don't, if I you like don't want to be in the drawing, you just say, "Hey, I'd like my stickers." No, nah, no thanks on the drawing. I just wanted the stickers. That ever happen? Did that ever happen? By the way, you can't buy stickers any other day. There's no other day stickers are for sale, only on prize night. You can't get them in their store. You can't get them anywhere else. It's, 
weird that these stickers are only around on prize night. Fuck the drawing, I don't care. But we offer it to you for free. Mm -hmm. So he was really upset about that. And And then fast forward to remember when he was like, all right, uh, Melton was right. We are not doing it right, but we've come up with a new workaround. Everyone in the chat gets a million entries to the drawing. Huh? Huh? This was his answer. That was his answer. How's that work? How do you know how, how do you know everyone in the chat? And by the way, you give away gift cards for ammunition. You don't age verify, you don't do anything. You you advertise gu uh, 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 a gun store, which again is against none of your shows can be monetized. You have a sponsor that sells guns and ammunition. That's it. That's it. Demonetize. That's it. Do you understand? Like, it's just like, that's why. That's why. You don't get to be better than anyone else. You don't get to break rules everyone else has to follow. That's why, dummy. You think it's about the stickers? <laughs> you don't get to rip off your dumb boomer audience. You don't. You don't. Not on my watch. Melton's coming to show you what's going on. They call me the sheriff. And he was going all kinds of mental about it. And uh, Lemmy was sending me some stuff. And I'm like, and, and you know the worst part about Wow, Lemmy. Wow. At two, Lemmy. What it is? I don't think he's really mad about it. I'm not. <laughs> no one's mad. You're clowns. You're Minnesotan clowns. Without the face paint and the Fago. <laughs> no, like, you know what? I don't think he's really mad about it. I know. You made that up. You made that up. I think he really wants to be part of this world. Okay. And this is like an in. He doesn't have, he knows we do a. I want to be where the scrimpies are. Good job. What's she doing with her hair? Does she ever stop touching her hair? This world. Okay. And this is like an in. He doesn't have, he knows we do a good job. He knows. What is she doing? He knows it's a solid. He knows we have a solid show. He knows we do a great job. He knows. Show, but he knows that in that part of the internet, I think he's trying to occupy the, the place in the internet that we left behind this week. Again, cut to them begging Chad to be on their show just a few weeks ago. Begging. Okay. And he wants to plug that steel toe sized hole. Well, that's too And he bad. knows you have to do that by, like, being fucky. The only way to act like Steel Toe is to act fucky. Is that what he just said? Hello? All of the success you have today is from Steel Toe. Leave him alone. Thank you. April looks like a really cool bird today. Very mean. And uh, I have to say, man, the fucking uh, subreddit guys. Uh, or at least the guy who runs it, has been cooler to me than fucking Melton has. Melton hasn't been cool to you? Melton hasn't been cool to you. <laughs> Everybody's been cooler to me than Melton. Get used to it, nerd. Get used to it. I thought you were just giving Melton good attention yeah that's what well. i thought too he, yeah I, yeah i don't think i you know what i think it is i think he's so scarred from that red bar shit which i get it like red bar wrote him pretty yeah. hard i think that actually affected him a lot remember when red bar made my wife quit the show <laughs> we've been ridden pretty hard here though too that's and the it, type of thing you got to just kind of right. not look at april has some advice for me. Melton, you got to get over that. It's the kind of thing, look, we've had it here at the, at the toe. You got to get over it, Melton. You got to let that stuff just roll off your back. That stuff, if you're not careful, Melton, that stuff will eat you alive. Before you know it, you won't be having fun. You might even consider, and this, you know, in, in an extreme circumstance, you may even consider quitting the show. You might even, Melton, if, you, if you're not really, like, right in the head, if you're not got your mental, you know, navigation compass set to north and you really don't, you know, have a, have a good sense of who you are, 
they'll run you off the internet, Melton. You better be careful. You better be careful, Melton. That kind of thing could fuck you up, and you'll just have to quit forever. Tell me again, Ape. Which I get it. Like, Red Bar wrote him pretty yeah. hard. I think that actually affected him a lot. We've been ridden pretty hard here, though, too. That's and the it, type of thing you got to just kind of right. not look at eventually. That's, it's all part of the game, you know? <laughs> I mean, we've shit. gotten it pretty bad over I here. I think it hit. Whoa! Some advice from the apester, huh? You got to just let that stuff go, Melton. You got to just... Melton, you got to... How's it work, ape? How's it work, bitch? <laughs> I, I I podcasted without Apple having a podcast section in iTunes longer than your whole career. <laughs> I mean, fuck. She's going to tell everybody how it works? This dumb bitch who's, whose husband protects her? She's been doing this for a year. She's like, yeah, you, you got to learn to let the... You got to let those trolls not get to you, Melton. It's like when people came after my fat mom in her Chinese restaurant library office space. I just kept on moving. You got to do like me and Mubi, you know? You can't let this stuff get to you. Gat, eventually. That's, it's all part of the game, you know? <laughs> I mean, we've shit. gotten it pretty bad over I here. I think it hit him pretty hard, so I think he's, like, kind of scarred and skeptical about any kind of, like, attention being negative. Yeah, you wouldn't know what that's like. Like, he perceives things as... Yeah, uh, Scanny Dude John makes a good point. April's a f April won't open packages. Listeners are sending her, like, you know, we miss you packages, and she's afraid to open them. They might be mean. <laughs> Negative and it's a like a hair trigger kind of a thing. So before he knows, he just kind of like defends yeah. himself from punches that didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. He defends himself from punches that aren't Aww. coming at him. Aww. Aww. Hey, April, when you can't get a job because the internet is littered with shit about you doing drugs and being a whore and being a fake fucking mom and a fucking absolute radio cunt who went after the throats of other people's livelihoods. Don't complain, bitch. Don't complain when TCBY don't call back. Don't complain when you can't get a job, when you can't get a job sign spinning with a crown on outside of a Burger King. Don't call me when you can't get a job at Cricket Wireless selling prepaid phones. I don't want to fucking hear it. You said never, ever take your foot off the gas fucking with Chad. Never, ever. Bitch, die poor. Die poor. That's your life now. This could follow me around anywhere. It will. It will. I don't know if I'll ever have a thumbnail in it again that doesn't say April M. Holt and have, have scars on your face from you picking at it, you alleged meth-doing bitch. We ain't seen you in two months. You couldn't sit up straight, sores and pus leaking out of your face, slurring your words, running off to the bathroom, sniffles, wiping your nose, drugged out of your mind. You look like a fucking deer zombie. Remember those deer zombie? They just stare. That's you. That's you. For two months, a shell of a woman, a husk of a lady. That was you. That was you, looking like a fucking pilled out, messed up whore. And then you tried to come back for like three shows, and then you quit for good, and no one's seen you in two weeks. You're in rehab. You're in recovery. Who are we kidding? Where's April? She's dead, or she's in rehab. This bitch had open wounds and lesions on her body. This bitch is drinking nothing but Celsius and fucking Nas. She's drinking nothing but garbage, eating nothing but garbage. They're, they're both sustaining themselves on kitchen sink bark. I don't want to hear about it when you can't get a job at Jersey Mike's. I don't want to hear about it. Don't think we're not curious and don't think we're not going to be interested. We're going to find out which Pizza Hut. We're going to find out. I, I want to see this resume. Painted valves. General manager for Steel Toe. I was good at everything except knowing where they sell stamps. 
But I'm ready. If you quiz me on where they sell stamps now, I'll know. So don't try. I do know now. Now I know. So don't try that. And I do know where. She probably says that in the interview. And I do know where they sell stamps. So don't try. Imagine. Imagine. He said today that she's a private person. Now we have to leave her alone and never talk about her again. <laughs> no. No. She's wrecked. You know when we'll leave her alone when she changes her name back to Anderson? You said April will always be a huge part of Steel Toe. So guess what? We will always talk about the bitch. You said it. You said it. April will always be a part of Steel Toe. Great. Good to hear. Good to hear. Because we'd like to clown on her eh, for another eternity. That's what we'd like to do. You don't, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ, Tanya Harding is a private citizen again, too. You know, she paints in Washington State. She paints houses. That's what she does for a living now. Do you think we don't get to talk about Tanya Harding? We do. We do. <laughs> so uh, I imagine when April's living alone up in, in uh, Washington State, picking apples, being whatever single unsuccessful version of Tiff she's trying to emulate. Um, we'll talk about her then, too. April, my dear. I'm glad you left her husband, F. Amy. Oh. I'm so famous. He couldn't take you to Paris. Luckily, Pepe Le Pew owes me a favor. The fuck? What smells like rotten tuna in here? Er Sorry, my love. That, that's just my scrimp, Galfredo. Just go ahead and put it in my asshole. Rod Pockets. It is, and it's a like a hair trigger kind of a thing. So before he knows, he just kind of like defends yeah. himself from punches that didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. He defends himself from punches that aren't Aww. coming at. Aww. Aww. Tell me how it works, Abe. Eh? So yeah, he had a really big problem with that, and he had a really big problem with the fact that we ask our audience for money, which is a common refrain for years now from people who don't like our show. And it's like, guys, that is totally fine. If you don't like that, we ask our audience to support the show to keep it on the air. If that disgusts you to the point where you don't like the show, hey, I agree. Not for you. Well, because we even say, you know, look, we, we have this bad habit that people on the Internet aren't used to seeing. And that is owning our shortcomings and accentuating mm -hmm. our positives. I think the problem most people on the Internet have with us is we're too honest and we're very humble and we always like. We just meet people where we're at, you know? We never exaggerate. We never lie. We're very, very cool about that. We tell people we're not the best. We're not doing the best. We rarely win. We're a small show. You know? We're like, yeah, that part sucks. I hope uh, it goes away someday. We suck. We suck. But uh, the audience seems to like it, so we'll keep her going. So, yeah, I found that very interesting. Are you going to keep her going? You gotta keep her going. Why is she just why is she just cupping her tit today? I wanted to bring that up on the show because I was like, wow, he like it just seems like a strange thing to get so upset about. He's incensed. He could be part of it. Yeah, about you know. being crowded. I don't want to be part of your felony. Ah, <laughs> Melton just wants to be part of our giveaway. It's a felony. It's a felony. No, I'm good. I'm good. And by the way, I think each instance is a felony. So it's like hundreds of felonies. <laughs> I'm good. He can be a part of it. I'm good. I'm good. Only one of us is looking for a job today. Only one of us needs something to do today, ape. <laughs> he could be a part of it. I'd love to. I'd love to. Um, apparently this is Mersh uh, going after Melton. I, never, I haven't seen this yet. In fact, I, I like it was funny because I'm not gonna lie. People have mentioned this like Aaron meltdown that he had over like April leaving the show, and I was curious. I'm, I'm curious. Like, I don't care if we're friends, if we're if we're pals, if we're enemies. When I hear that it's your turn in the barrel and you had a meltdown, I gotta go look. It I up. gotta go look. I gotta look it up. I'm just. I have to. So it's just it's it's ingrained in me, and I can't help myself. I look and I'm like, it's all melting and it's all these like, 
It's melting, 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 melting. Oh, melting. hi, Mark. Every video is melting, and every video has these like creepy, like, like thumbnails you had to go into Canva and design with Canva. Canva. Canvas for your mom to make invitations to the HOA mixer. Canva? I have Photoshop, Mersh. I have Photoshop. <laughs> these these thumbnails, they... I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he makes these thumbnails. I, I just, you know, try. I just try. I just try to make something that's eye-catching and it grabs you and lets you know what the shit... I just try Canva, Canva. Little Emmy says, I also like Canva. That's my point. That's my point. Mom, <laughs> that's my point. Look, I'm not, I don't know really how to use Canva. I, use, I just use Photoshop. Is that, also, what a fucking dig on a person. All of his thumbnails are like these. You'd have to like open up a graphics program and design them. Thanks. Thanks. I do. I do. I do. I'm not just steel toe. I don't just put four photos together in a haphazard. Yeah. Yeah. Sick burn. These thumbnails, you'd have to like care about what they look like and try. These thumbnails he does. It's like he wants people to like click on his videos. He's trying to get <sighs> sick. Sick burn. These shows he does, they're like produced and he does, he tries to like introduce fun, interactive things for his audience. Oh. What are these owns everybody has? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. These thumbnails he has, you'd have to be, You'd have to give a fuck about your show to do these things. And every video is melting, and every video has these like creepy, like, like thumbnails you had to go into Canva and design. He had to design his thumbnails. What a fag. <laughs> he had to design them. Can you believe he has designed thumbnails? With pictures of April and stuff. What an idiot. And I'm like, like, Melton has a very unhealthy investment in Canva. In Canva. You just you just said it. The steel toe marriage. Like it's it's a little I'm not invested in it at all. I'm not invested in it at all. What is this cope? Can't we just be laughing at something? I don't really whether they get divorced or not, it doesn't affect my life. I win no matter what. I uh, If April doesn't come back on the show before May 4th, and we didn't plan that, by the way, May the 4th be with you, Pat Dixon and I have a, have a bet. If she doesn't come back on the show before May 4th, um, I owe Pat Dixon 100 bucks, and it looks like he's winning. How will he ever enforce it? So uh, am I going? Am I going to begrudgingly and frownily hand over a hundred dollars to Pat Dixon? No, no. I shall laugh and laugh and be like, "Oh my God, she's gone." Here's your hundred, dog. I mean, no one's upset. No one's. I win either way. Either April comes back on the show and we get to torture her more, or April's gone from the show and we get to watch movie go. Uh, probably should have never have. Probably should have never. Uh, had her on in my life anyway. I had just a mistake to ever think April had it. Tell boys, tell boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Policeman give you no break when you speed through your neighborhood with no brakes. Cheeto man give you no break. Take April to Paris on a big date. Tell boys, tell boys. So gay. I can't talk right now. My mouth plumb full of script. Can you see April ordering food in Paris? <laughs> I'd pay to just watch April navigate Paris alone. Alone. She's not allowed to have anybody help her. She, 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 in, in, uh, in, in less than an hour, she'll be, she'll be turned out 
standing by the Arc de Triomphe, <laughs> fucking selling that sledge. You know what I mean? Rod Pockets. Ha ha ha. Minnesota Scream. Ha ha ha. Wee wee. <laughs> Hit the like button. Ha. Hey, I'm buried in the backyard. Please dig me up and give me mess. No, you're not, guys. She's really not. See how funny she is? Send help to a scrimp. She won't even pop on. I heard there was a fa- somebody uh, I- impersonated Chandler the other day and offered $500 if she would just stick her head on the stream and say hi, and she wouldn't even do that. She wouldn't even do that. She wouldn't stick her head on the screen and say hi for $500. And that's rough. That's rough. So, you know, and 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 I know uh, Kevin has this fantasy that she's going to come on to MLC. It's like, again, the bitch can't handle her her iron-domed chat room, for, for lack of a better term. Literally, there's 35 mods over there shooting down any offensive message that comes at that chat room. It is literally an echo chamber of praise for April and Aaron. If you mention anything remotely negative, they'll they'll delete you and move you out of there. What makes you think she can handle MLC chat? And then stupid cabins over there, like we don't even have to do no mean super chats. It's like, what would that be like? What would that be like? No mean super chats. What would that be like? Probably retarded. MLC podcast, that was me. Who's this fake MLC podcast? Oh, that was the fake Chandler? Hold on, Jimmy just said Melton does know that was a fake Chandler, right? All I said was there was a fake Chandler the other night. That's how I started the conversation. There was a fake Chandler the other night asking them, telling them they get 500 Melton knows that was a fake Chandler, right? Yeah, that's why I said it. That's why I literally said there was a fake Chandler the other night. Holy shit. <laughs> Does Melton know it's fake, though? No, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. That's why I just pronounced it so. Um, roofing cunt member for two months. I don't care about your thumbnails. My hubs is the greatest referral one could ask for. I will get a job at Dutch Brothers. I can paint your rim tubs. I know. Should I try to, should I try to fix my... Should I try to fix my rim myself? I know you can, like, sand it and repair it yourself. But you got to, like, sand it, and then you got to do, like, uh, filler, and then you got to sand it again, and you got to sand, like, the surrounding area, and then you got to do paint and sand and paint and sand, and then clear coat and dry and clear coat. It's just like, or you could pay a guy... And also, you know, there's an art to it. It's not like, it's one of those things like you're paying the guy for the thousand rims he's done before, really, is what you're, you know. You're not really paying him to do your rim. You're paying him because he knows how to make it look good and make it match. You could probably try to do it yourself, but it won't be, uh, it won't be great. You can't, you can't. I mean, you can, you can. You can't learn to do it. How do you think they do it? I've wa- I've watched them. <laughs> Forget about your rim and fix the cable. I'm I'm never fixing the cable. I'm never fixing the cable. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive Doom insane. <laughs> we might I might actually go get a Zacto blade after this and and fray the cable a little more. See if I can introduce a little bit more noise into the signal. Melton does powder coat on the side. Uh, does the rim guy have a buddy who fixes dead pixels? I'm, fuck, I might quit my own show. I might leave early today. I might quit my own show. Uh, Arizona Mason Tom says, Hack of Mania, May 31st through June 2nd, Las Vegas. It's a good point. It's a good point he brings up. Uh, thanks, Arizona Mason Tom. May 31st through June 2nd, Hack of Mania, Las Vegas. Use promo code NLO. Save 20% on your tickets. The FOMO is going to start slapping hard. The FOMO is going to start slapping hard. Grab your tickets today. Come out and see us. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun hang. And uh, 
you know, the longer you wait, the more flights cost. The longer you wait, the more hotels cost. Grab your tickets today. Okay? Or don't. You know, I don't really, I can't really be responsible for it anymore. Hit the like button. Don't get tickets. Don't. We're, we're almost out. We're going we're gonna to lock them down. They're going to be 500 bucks from here on out. Matter of fact, you can't get tickets. I'm not selling them to you. Does that ever work? You, you couldn't get tickets if you tried. You couldn't get tickets if you tried. I am going to set up promo code Cardiff just for fun. See how many people actually will use it because he keeps saying that. We'll take it. Promo code Cardiff. Save 20% on tickets. Hackamania.com. Uh, steel rims rule. Steel rims rule. Mountain tries on his thumbnails. Have you seen this? It's a little weird when that every one of his thumbnails is like designed. <laughs> it's like to me when I see these guys go at each other, it's it's weird to me when I see a guy that's only going after your marriage nonstop. It's like that's all you got. They like like yeah. You know. Another another like calling sign of every one of these emotionally broken losers. Every one of them thinks all I do is go after them. Kevin Brennan he, can't stop telling everybody he did four hours on me. He did a whole show watching me. I've never done a whole show watching Kevin Brennan. I've never done a whole show watching Kevin Brennan. I've never done a whole show watching anything, to tell you the truth. I mean, I definitely cut away to myself and rant for 30 minutes here and there. Happens all the time. That's why we've been through one five-minute clip today, and we're, we're 91 minutes into the show. All I do is... All I do, I don't do all of anything. So it's an insane cope. I, I don't know what every fucking loser. Chad says, all I do is make fun of Chad. Steel Toe says, all I do is make fun of Steel Toe. Mersh says, all I do is make fun of Mersh. Kevin says, all I do is make fun of Kevin. How, how can all that be true? How can all of that be true? Again, it's about what they feel. They feel it feels like all he does is make fun of me. That's what they're saying. They're all so fucking weak. Who knew everyone was everyone is this week? Everyone. And by the way, this isn't tough talk. You know, people can fight this with tough talk. Oh wow, he sits in his room and calls everybody pussies. I'm not a, a fighter. You could probably beat me up. This isn't tough talk. I'm not threatening you. I don't want to fight. Words are hurting you bitches. Words are causing you guys a lot of emotional damage. That's why I'm calling you pussies. Chad feels like all Melton does is attack Chad. Brennan feels like all Melton does is attack Ch Brennan. I, I, uh, uh, who's the Brennan? One of Brennan's big, big guy, Max Bringle, or one of those guys was on, on Twitter this weekend. Like, yeah, but that's why you're going after Kevin's wife and kids. And I just replied, are they okay? Are they okay? Have they weathered the storm? Are Kevin's children and wife okay from what Melton has done to them? How are they recovering? By the way, what did I ever do to them? I've never said their names or talked. Again, I don't even know how many kids Kevin had. I don't even know the number. I don't know. Don't care. My point is just to point out how everybody else is a pussy. So every time I go, Kevin's wife or Kevin's kids, he yells, he's talking about my wife and kids. I'm not. No amount of me saying Kevin's black wife, Kevin's NFL playing wife, no amount of mental gymnastics or twisties you want to do can make that equal talking about Kevin's wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not what talking about someone's wife means. Are they okay? Are they okay? You don't, you, don't hear, you don't hear me saying anything about people are going after my wife. No, they're not. No, they're not. No one's doing anything to me. No one's doing jack shit to me other than trying to troll me. Words? Words? They don't hurt. They really don't. They don't. They don't. They don't have to. It's your fault. If, if you got hurt by a word, it's your fault. That's you. I'm surrounded by sensitive bitches who think I attack them all day. All of them. It's, it's the best thing ever. I literally don't have to do anything 
and I get credit. Kevin Brennan is convinced I talk to Ray all the time and give him advice on how to play Kevin Brennan. Friday on his show, Kevin Brennan said, and I and by the way, I didn't. I, I don't talk to Ray. Imagine me talking to Ray. Kevin Brennan thinks I talk to Ray and tell Ray to take down shows so Kevin can't snipe him. Kevin Brennan thinks I talk to Ray and tell him all the big super chatters are turning on Kevin. Just keep up. I don't give Ray advice. I don't talk to Ray. But how beautiful that I don't even have to for Kevin Brennan to be paranoid about me. Kevin Brennan thinks I'm after. Kevin Brennan can't stop saying Melton's after my channel. I've never said the word I'm going to strike Kevin's channel. No one's after Kevin's channel. He can't stop saying it. He can't stop yelling it. He can't stop telling you, his idiot fans, that. Melton's after my channel. Melton thinks he's going to take me down. No? No? Never said that. Never implied it. Never been a goal of mine. Don't have the time. Not worried about it. Melton's trying to take my channel down. Are you okay, baby? What did I do? Are you okay, baby girl? Melton's doxing my wife. Got any proof of that? No, I'm not. It just feels like it to you because you're a pussy. No one's doxing anybody. It feels like it because you're all pussies. Every fucking one of them, they're all the same. He's talking about my wife. And? A, I'm not. B, and? What if I was? That is not a crime, Stevie Lou. But also, no one's doing it. No one's doing it. <laughs> but you all feel it, right? You all remember the clip. I remember a clip when Melton doxed my wife. Do you? Play it. Hello? Hey, buddy. Uh, do you think you think Kevin would pass a lie, de lie detector test? Like, if he took one on, you know, he's doing this to my wife and kids, he's doing this to my channel. Like, do you think he really believes it? No. By the way, half of the reason I do that shit to Stuttering John and stuff is to prove they don't care about their children. Like, right. he doesn't, Kevin doesn't care about his can... wife and kids. <laughs> no, I, be, I think I, I agree with that. I'm just saying, like, has he has he told himself that so many times that, yeah. like, he, yes. that he, tr okay, that's, that was my question. Yeah, so it, that's bizarre to live that. It's so paranoid. Um. Yeah, I agree. Wow. No, All right, thanks, buddy. Kevin Brennan gaslights himself out of, again, out of paranoia and fear constantly. Constant paranoia and fear. Did you see this new clip, uh, My Lost Interest, Pat Dixon? Uh, I think I have it pulled up somewhere. I think I pulled it up. My Lost Interest guy. By the way, again, all the Clippers are welcome to come to Hackamania. Reach out. You, you, you'll you need a ticket. Like, I can't just have 90 Clippers show up if we don't have room to get it. You know what I mean? Like, reach out. Get a ticket. Yeah, basically, I'll send you a code, and you can get a free ticket on the website. But you will have to have a, a ticket. Um, But you're all welcome. I want everybody in the community to just come out and have fun. To, uh, oh, we ready. Nobody has to fight. Nobody has to argue. Everybody can get along for a day or two. All right, hold on. Here's my lost interest. This is the one I wanted to play. All right, so I want to direct this at Kevin Brennan, and I hate to even go here after, Jesus, you know, a, a really good show with TJ Harker. And thanks, everybody, again, for watching for your super tips and everything. Now, uh, here's the thing. Uh, me losing my YouTube channel. I want you to listen, Kevin, okay? Me losing my YouTube channel is unrelated to you. All weekend, and this started at the end of last week, Kevin Brennan has now fused a bunch of events in his brain. Um, him agreeing to do uh, Hackamania, uh, Melton attacking Kevin's family, Pat Dixon losing his channel, all this. Kevin and Brennan has fused all these events in his brain, and now Kevin Brennan says things like, how's it going, Pat, Pat Dixon? You teamed up with Melton, and now your channel's gone, and you're making no money. Those things aren't related. How's it going, Pat Dixon? You're working with Melton now? You're doing Hackamania? Now you don't make any money. 
What? How's it going, uh, Pat Dixon? You picked Melton over me, and now you lost your channel. It's like these aren't <laughs> these have nothing to do with each other. And by the way, you said you weren't having Pat. Three weeks ago, he said he wasn't having Pat Dixon on because it could it could get his channel in trouble. Now he's morphed that, and he's openly admitting he's not having Pat Dixon on because Pat Dixon's doing hackamania. He can't make up his mind why he's vengeful. You know what I mean? The most inconsistent, lying, gaslighting sack of shit there is. I never, ever, ever stop getting shit for gaslighting and being a liar, but you know what I mean? Every time I tell one of these motherfuckers to prove me wrong, they can't. Melton, we all know you hired a PI. Okay. I mean, it should be. You all know I did it. You all remember the clip. Post a fucking clip. Not one of you can post a fucking clip of me hiring the PI. Why? Why? Melton, we all remember you accusing Cheetos. It's one show. Should be dead easy. It was the morning it happened. Go find it. The show's up. It was the morning it happened when I presented the Cheetos evidence to Chad. Go watch it. Clip out the part where I go, it was Cheetos in the bowling alley with a steak knife. You're all fucking dumb. No one can ever get it. No one can ever get me on anything they're sure they can get me on. Please pull up the soul melting clip, Lewis, you fucking jabron. <laughs> you saw it, right? You saw it. You saw it. You remember watching it. You told everybody you remember watching it. So it's definitely not an animation you made up in your broken brain, right? It's a real thing that happened. Go clip it. Melton, you went through a technicality. It's not a technicality. No one ever accused Cheetos. The question is, Melton accused Cheetos. No, I didn't. It's not technical. I never did that. <laughs> it's not technical, honey. I didn't ever say Cheetos did it. I think Cheetos did it. I bet Cheetos did it. You know why? I, you know how I know I never said that? I never believed it. So I know I didn't say it. I don't even have to. I know I didn't say it because I've never thought that once in my life. Cheetos probably did it. Never. Never. <laughs> so, like, fuck. I don't. Again, I'm going to look so fucking dumb when you go find the clip of me doing it. And I've adamantly screamed that I didn't do that. I'm going to look fucking retarded. When you find the clip, aren't I? Please don't go find that clip. Please. I'll, I'll look so fucking dumb. Stuttering John, taking second wife and valve painter April LaRue to France. Please don't be smirch my fine French surname with your antics, scrimp. Yo, when the French got a hold of those two poster children for what's wrong with America, they kicked them out and cut all ties with the USA. Baby scrimp before they kick you out of France, can you bring home the mama eclairs and macaroons and some real French fries? Um, single mother of five, did you didn't didn't you say you would tell us today the new venues? Yeah, I didn't get look, I didn't get all the promo stuff done, so so I can't. So I didn't. I already said that. I might never tell you. Again, um, it might be a scavenger hunt when you get here. George, swap out the... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll announce it very soon. I got to get the website and stuff changed. Swap out the spare dog. I don't have a spare wheel. Oh, you just put it on the donut? I don't think my car has a donut. I have a full size. Why am I turning into Stuttering John? I took my Zyrtec. Uh, Ray DeVito, member for four months. You know April really is a good egg. She's offline, so she's off limits. Come on, pal. Give her a break. I'm already doing Hackamania for free. Hackamania FOMO, new member. Uh, Max Bringle, I was going after KB Sims who were mad at you. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember who's, who's a KB guy and a me guy. I really can't keep up with it. And again, I don't, you know, if you're that tribalistic anyway, I don't. These guys are all sure, though. They're all sure. And they're all dumb. The one guy keeps going like, you go clip it and prove me wrong. It's like, how do I go clip me never saying something? How do I clip me not ever accusing stone? How do I prove 
I never accused Stoney's Cheetos of of being behind the punch. How do I prove that by clipping something? Go go prove you never said it by clipping it. This guy this guy said this to me four times. Like prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Clip it. Prove me wrong. Clip it. And again, they're they're not trolling. They're they they like they believe this. He's like, come on, clip it. Go clip you not saying that. I want to see. <laughs> I should I should just clip me behind the desk going, and then just send that to him. And go see, I didn't say it. <laughs> He's so dumb. He might go, oh fuck, I could have sworn. <laughs> or MLC or any choices I made. You know. Yeah, the channel was wrong. Also, uh, cheers on the Bitcoin if you're a Bitcoin holder, Max Pringle. Nice, nice. Grab yourself some coin. To begin with, that's not really the point. The point is, it's not because of, oh, I picked somebody over somebody else. No, the YouTube thing went, and then you said, oh, I'm not going to have him on the show anymore. I'm not going to have him on the show anymore. No, I like this. I've never seen Pat with this kind of mocking personality, and I like it. That's what happened. Kevin, I'm not over here on Rumble because I fucked up and teamed up with somebody. By the way, you can't stop saying that, too. Like, and now, Ray and Melton teamed up. Uh, is, is Melton going to take care of them? Is Melton going to take... Hey, Pat, is Melton taking care of you? Taking care of? No one... No one ever, no one ever, you're the only one who takes care of men, I guess is the only, is it what I'm trying to say, bitch? <laughs> you're the only one who considers himself taking care of men. So th that's insane. Again, I, Kevin, I, I, it's great because I don't have to do anything and Kevin thinks I'm doing everything. I love it. Again, uh, uh, Kevin's such a sensitive bitch, he feels under attack by Melton. When I'm doing nothing. Melton's trying to take my channel. Melton asked Pat and Ray to do Hackamania to stick it to me. Like, as if, like, Kevin really thinks he's the center of the world and everyone's doing everything around Kevin. No, Pat, Pat's a stand-up. Ray's a stand-up. This is Hackamania. Someone, I saw someone the other day like, wow, Melton didn't reach out to anybody in L.A. or, or Vegas to do the Hackamania show. It's like, you, A, you don't know shit. Yes, I have. We have people in Vegas on the show. Second of all, it's not called Come See Bill Burr do a killer stand-up show. It's called Hackamania. It's for broken losers like me and Ray and Pat. This isn't... <laughs> Uh, everyone's like, wow, Melton doesn't know how to put on a stand-up show. I would have got some good guys. Yeah, that's not what this is. No shit. No shit. I mean, fuck, Brett Ernst and and Pauly Shore and, and John Caparulo all live here. I, I, I could probably get any one of them on the show. Still, still, like you guys want to come down and do a set for a couple hundred bucks? That's not what it is. That's not what it is. We're, this is this is supposed to be awful. This is supposed to be the guys you know from the shitty podcast you know. It's not who's the biggest name we can get. Wow, Melton couldn't get anybody bigger than Ray. It's like, I guess, I guess, man. We did. We reached out to everyone, and Ray's the only one who answered. So, yes, yes. It was Mark Norman and Ray... And Mark Norman just said, no thanks. Fuck. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> it, it's so insane. And then people are like, uh, uh, you know, the Largo event for WATP was $40 and Hackamania is 100 It's like, I, even if you do the math on that, you're, you're getting a better value. WATP was almost half alone. So you're getting seven podcasts and two stand-up shows. And I mean, it's just like, I, I, I don't know why people who don't want to come are arguing about the tickets and the event. And like, it's crazy.
You, the last place you'll ever find me is like a Taylor Swift forum going like $600 for nosebleeds. I don't even like her music. I probably wouldn't even, I'd probably be at the concession stand most of the time, down in nacho cheese out of a big gulp cup. Probably wouldn't even watch Shake It Off. Probably wouldn't even uh, uh, be there for, uh, what's it, What's her big song, a uh, blank? I'll write your name. I don't even know. I don't even know any of her. What's her new, what are her new hits? What are her new hits? I don't know. I don't know. But the last place you'll see me is complaining about the logistics and ticket prices of Taylor Swift. You know why? I have no interest in going and neither do you. Why are you worried about it? <laughs> why are you worried about how much Tiff's been on her ticket? Why are you worried about whether Spurg Snake comes or not? Don't worry about it. You don't want to come. You think it's dumb. That's your vote. Believe me, we've registered it over here. We, everyone who didn't want to buy a ticket, we've got your name. We've got your name. We, we see the number of tickets we didn't sell as well, just so you know. Over here on our side, our software shows us everyone who didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> so I see you, dog. Okay, so stop putting all this shit together. Don't conflate one thing with another. You know, so what do you stand for? You know, I mean, I, I used to think the whole thing was honesty or something or be having truth of some sort. This is my best. This, I, I really kind of feel bad for Pat. I, I remember not long ago. I remember him being on there and be like, Kevin's a good guy. Kevin's an honest guy. Kevin's a stand up guy. And I'm just sitting there. I remember thinking to myself months ago when he would, he would say all that stuff on the reg and I would sit here and go, oh boy, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. By the way, it's going to be bad for everybody on MLC always. It, it, I love the arc. And, it, and by the way, if you haven't tapped into it yet, you're missing out on a really fun component of MLC. It's, it's, it's Felicia Gillespie being introduced to the show, seeing the super chats, the money, getting 150 every show she does. Kevin's praising her now. She's, she's great. She's, all, she's great. She's great. She's available. She's great. She's never not available. She's funny. She's always available. She's great. I send her the link. She's available. She's amazing. She's available. You know, that's his biggest criteria for, for getting someone on MLC now. Are they available? And watching them become smitten with him and feel like the favorite child and, wow, he's putting down everybody but me and he pays me. He loves me. He really respects me. He thinks I'm funny in my comedy. And then watching him break that motherfucker in a week or two or a month or two. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. And the best ones are the ones who keep coming back for it. Stevie Lou, Ray. Fucking Ray will go back tomorrow. Ray's like, he's a good guy. He'll forgive me. He'll come around. We're working out. He likes me. Ray's retarded. Ray's retarded. <laughs> he's a nice, he's fine. Ray, nah, Kevin likes me. Kevin's my friend. Kevin's a good guy. Fucking idiot. Stevie Lou. Stevie Lou gets tossed to the side, comes back. Tossed to the side, comes back. Tossed to the side, insulted and shat upon, comes back. Over and over and over again. It's it's like, Mwah. I wonder, it's, look, it is indicative of why everything else in your life might be falling apart and not going well. Again, from employment to interpersonal relationships, whatever you want to say, you're not good at pattern recognition. You're not good at viewing what people are. Kevin's telling you you suck. He never liked you. He never fucking cared about you. He doesn't think you're funny. He told you good job at your special because what do you say? He said, you're not a real comic. You're an open micer. You're a fake fuck. Again, Felicia Gillespie's great. Do you hear it yet? Do you hear it yet? Ray DeVito is more of a comic than Kevin Brennan will ever be again. Hello? Ray DeVito is more of a comic than Kevin Brennan will ever be again. Now, is he a successful big-time comic? Probably not. Probably never will be. The dreams of the NPR and the Jimmy Fallon, it's all just hogwash, horse shit. Like it or not, Ray makes a living from it. Ray, Ray, Ray works as a comic. More than Kevin Brennan ever will work again, period. So you can argue a lot of stuff. Is, Ke is Ray DeVito a real comic? I mean, I... I as far as what a real comic is, yes, yes. Is Kevin Brennan a comedian? 
He was. He ain't no more and never shall be again. But he was. So what is this? What is this thing that causes these needy motherfuckers to go back to him over and over and over again to get swat down? I, I don't get it. I, we all know Stevie Shaw gets shed out the end of Kevin Brennan again, right? And Chad? They just keep coming. I, it, I think it's because they have nothing else. I think it's because Chad has nothing else. Chad has to just keep coming back every time Brennan will have him because what else? I saw, I saw the most needy thing I've ever seen in my life. Bachetti tweeted yesterday or something. Tomorrow, MLC Mondays. Tomorrow, MLC Mondays. I'll be on. He got like 50 likes. And then Chad wrote, me too. Don't forget. Me too. Six likes. <laughs> Chad, the comedy skin tag. It's like, I, 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 does Godfrey know he has a white skin tag? Does, is Florentine aware? Fucking hell. But, it, but it, it's sad to, to watch. Again, go back to Pat Dixon. He could say no wrong about the man. Look, I'll never talk bad about Kevin Brennan. I'll never say a bad word about the guy. The guy's a good guy, stand-up guy, good man, honest man, Kevin Brennan. I, I was vomiting months ago when I heard Pat, Pat Dixon say all this stuff. Now, I, I, I just can't, I can't do anything about it. I, I have to just watch. I have to let Pat figure it out. And then Pat figures it out. And, you know, I I, I don't know if, if Brennan asked Pat to come back tomorrow. I, I don't know what would happen. I know that Ray and Chad and, and, and Stevie and guys like that can't get enough of the beatings. They shall run back to get in line to get punched again. So, I, I don't really know. But Pat sounds like he's finally figured out that Kevin's a dishonest, manipulative, gaslighting fuck. <laughs> Where's that? You know, you don't give a shit about that. It's it's not it's not. I guess what interesting to you? It's not. It's not something that matters. You don't think that matters? It helps, you know. It helps to be uh, correct about things, don't you think? Hearing you act like it has anything to do with MLC. Like, oh, you're on Rumble. <laughs> Starving, needing somebody to take care of you because, you know, and all this bullshit. Hey, great, great. You know, you can, you can tell it any way you want to tell it, but there's no connection. I didn't, it's not like YouTube said, oh, you pick Melton, so we're getting rid of your channel. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that wasn't a factor. You know, you just kicked me when I was down. Yeah, unless Kevin reported it. You know, Ke I was telling Pat this. I did tell Pat this. Kevin keeps going, wow, you picked Melton and now you lost your channel. Wow, you picked Hackamania and now, now you lost your channel. Again, no one ever picked Hackamania. Just for all the fucking Kevin Brennan nerds out there. Again, Kevin Britton didn't say, I have a $10,000 check here if you just tell Melton to go fuck himself with Hackamania. It, I would forgive Pat and Ray immediately if Kevin was like, I'll send you 10 grand and not do Hackamania. Take the 10 grand. I'm telling you, take the 10 grand. That didn't happen, but you've all tricked yourselves into thinking like, wow, they gave up a contract with the MLC program on Sirius XM. Ray could have been the co-host for the next year, but he gave up that lucrative salary to go to Hackamania. What? Kevin Brennan's word is meaningless. If Ray dumped Hackamania, he'd be getting yelled at by Kevin for something else next week. Has, has Kevin Brennan ever told Ray he was shit and kicked him to the curb before? Yes. Was I involved? No. No. That happened just months, months back. And then before that, it happened bef before that. You know, so like... Kevin gets fed up with Ray and kicks him off the show all the time. This idea that if he wasn't doing Hackamania, he'd be making 10 grand a year doing MLC. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. There's another way for stupid Kevin Brennan to try to control men. Because, again, I guess now that he's married, he can't go out to the clubs and grab onto their hips. <laughs> so he has, to, he has to do it with his finances. 
Yeah, I, I don't know what the sick delusion is. These guys get like drunk with power and think they can control other men. You can't. You can't. No matter how much you want for things to be a certain way. Again, I don't have to do anything to Kevin Brennan, and he thinks I'm doing everything to Kevin Brennan. I'm after his channel. I'm stealing people away from him. I'm after his numbers. I can't stop lying about him. <laughs> so I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing shit. He's paying that John's neglected cat guy to count my numbers. I don't know who the fuck that is. And I, don't, I don't talk to him or pay him anything. I don't know who the fuck it is, but you're sure that I'm behind it. Why would I do anything? I don't have to. You, th you already think I'm doing everything. I, I don't have to spin a dime or lift a finger. You think I'm doing everything again because you're a sensitive bitch. You feel it too much. Hit it. Emotional damage. I'll never, I'll never, I don't have to do shit. I don't have to do shit to you. You think I'm doing everything. <laughs> he took Pat and uh, stick it to me. He's having a hack of mania to stick it to me. No, I, I'm a human being who gives a fuck about the... I actually do give a fuck about the fans. I got to make money. I got to have profit. I do give a fuck about the fans. They're actually normal, cool people, you know, except for Mr. Panhandler. <laughs> you, you hear how Kevin thinks of you. Who cares about the free chat? Who gives a fuck about the free chat? I don't know. The free chat's like everyone. The free chat's like everyone. You think everyone can be DK? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. MLC always wins in the end. That See, but that's the point. That's the point. You're an MLC guy who's fucking retarded as shit. Win what? <laughs> Kevin Brennan's an old, lonely idiot. If he's winning, I'd l rather lose. I'll take the L. I'll take the L. What's behind door number the other one? <laughs> if Kevin Brennan doesn't appreciate people making fun of his beloved wife, then perhaps marrying a charcoal-colored chimp wasn't the best thing for him to do. You got that right, Mr. Attenborough. That jackass went and married a monkey. I like monkeys. It is insane to, like, scream about black people all day and then just sign off and head into your tree bark colored bitch you know it's like okay okay oh fuck <laughs> black people are the fucking worst these fucking newports anyway gotta go click clock dinner ready it's, it's a little hypocritical <laughs> you're talking about the godfather today you can barely remember the fucking names and which which characters they were as if that's as if those scenarios, right? Like somebody's what plotting your fucking murder. You love writing these scripts, dude. He thinks that though. He does. He thinks everyone's talking about him and plotting shit. We don't have to plot shit. <laughs> you, th all we have to do is nothing, and then let your imagination run wild. You old fuck. Every one of my people who are emailing him behind the scenes information schemes and scams and insider info and discord leaks keep it going people who love me and hate me I, I you can't fuck it up for me just like email him nonsense lie to him tell him the truth i don't give a shit it's funny to watch an old man just worry it's just funny to watch an old man wring his hands and worry nonstop about nothing He's after my, these motherfuckers don't understand. He's after my wife and children. Are they fucking okay, bitch? I'm after them? As if I'm, I'm running down their fucking school bus on my huffy? I'm following your wife. No one's after your fucking broken brown family, bitch. No one. No one. No one is after your fucking watered down cream colored family, faggot. No one. No one. I mean, it's just not. Next time he says they're after my kid, wife and kids, ask him if they're okay. Ask him if he needs blankets. Ask him if they need something to calm them down, some hot cocoa or something. Are they okay? He's after my wife. Is she? 
Is she still with us? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just start asking him. Everybody, is your wife? Hey, after Melton Doc, super chat him because that's the only way you'll get it ready. He doesn't care about the free chat. Hey, after Melton went after your wife and kids, are they okay? Can you give us an update on the police case about the doxing? Have the charges been filed? Is he in custody? That monster. <laughs> He's after mine. <laughs> it's like, look, you've got a core group of fans that find it fucking fascinating and shit. I get it. I, that's great. That's what you got. And man, I wouldn't take it back. I, I wouldn't take back working with you. You know, I wanted it to be good. It it didn't, it wouldn't have taken all that much. He really did. Again, nobody was more loyal than Pat. Pat was like, I'll never say a bad word about Kevin. Kevin's a good dude. He's a good guy. He's helped me a lot. He's done a lot for me. He never turns his back on me. Kevin's got my back. Oh, yeah? But you, the thing is, you don't give a shit about this stuff. He doesn't give a shit about people, man. I, again, this is why I, I'm convinced he doesn't give a fuck about his wife and children. It's like, wh why does he act so butthurt when, like, guys he doesn't give a fuck about betray him? You wouldn't do shit for Pat Dixon and Ray. Again, I know Pat thinks he, like, he got my lawyer for me. He really helped me out. No, he didn't. He was trying to fuck Gino. Everything Kevin does is motivated by hate and sticking it. He, he, he's got the zero sum. He's either sticking it to someone else or they're sticking it to him. So, so when he had, when he paid your lawyer to defend you against Gino, it was to fuck Gino. It, it was to fuck with Gino. It wasn't to help you. Like, like that's a fucking fact. This, this guy's a transactional dude. Again, he, he proposed to his wife and wrote her a check. <laughs> this guy's a transactional motherfucker. And I guarantee if she ever left him, he'd go, what about when I gave you that money? You got to give me that money back. I wrote her a check. I, I, this is a fact. I gave my wife $9,000 last year. That's a third of her income. <laughs> you know, fuck. What the fuck are you yelling about? What is, what are you so mad about? What are you trying to prove? It doesn't prove anything that I'm on Rumble now, not related to you. It doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove anything or the money that I make or how I do or the kind of show I have or any of that stuff. None of it has anything to do with you not putting me on anymore. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I teamed up with Melton. But teamed up? What do we do? Like we're on the road doing a soft shoe, uh, you know, from town to town, holding out our hats. Teamed up. Because he was going to save me and provide for me. Right. And then when I did that, all of a sudden I'm on Rumble. Yeah, I lost my YouTube channel. And after that, you're like, well, fuck you then. You can't go on MLC either. <laughs> Great. Thanks. You know, really, all it's you say Melton caused problems? Not at first, not for the first month and a half, two months or so. Or, I don't know how long it was. Am I causing problems now? Hold on. What? Is he trying to he's trying to say that I cause problems now? I'm not even causing problems now. I don't I don't do anything to anyone. All I do is watch people's stuff and talk. I don't do anything to anyone. I do not think I'm tough. <laughs> I don't strike. I don't report. I don't. I, again, no one even has a DM with me where they go like, we should do this. Or I got this information on this guy. We should. Anyone who's ever reached out to me, and they can verify this, people in the chat. Anyone who's ever reached out to me with, with people's private information, doxing shit, fucked up shit. I literally go like I don't want I don't want to be involved in that. I want plausible. I don't want to know someone's address. I don't want to know Kevin's children's names. I only know Charlotte, Louis, and Emily because again, April said the names on the show. 
But now if you say the names in his chat room, he'll ban you. I don't do anything to anybody. I really don't. And they're all broken over me. They're all broken over me. Stuttering John's actually taking it the best, you know? They're all just, like, broken. I mean, you did try to get Steel Toe. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say I've never done anything? I said I'm not doing anything. I stole G.I. Joe's from Albertsons when I was in fucking elementary school, too, if you want to bring that up. And again, I didn't try to get Steel Toe in trouble. I'm just reporting what they're doing. They're doing fucking federal crimes. So, you know, fuck Steel Toe. And by the way, we brought it to Steel Toe's attention first, and they said, fuck you. We read the law. Good luck. <laughs> so then we went, okay, we'll just tell the attorney general about it. But no one's ever, no one ever said, I didn't do anything a year ago. <laughs> like, fuck. I didn't know, I, was, I didn't know that the scope that I was uh, eligible to admit things <laughs> I said, I'm not doing any, I, I don't think I've ever done anything to Kevin. I, I, what have I ever done to Kevin? He's so dumb. He's so, fu he's so paranoid. It makes him fucking retarded. That's the problem. He's so paranoid. It makes him irrationally fucking stupid. Like he's stupid. He, last week he goes, I knew as soon as Adam was gone, they were all going to come at me. No one's even thinking about that. You're giving us too much credit. I, I, as if. I had a, a hectic week last week for scheduling a million other things. That's why I was late almost every day. No one gunned for Kevin's spot. I wouldn't start at 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. If I, if I planned on going into Kevin's spot. Guess what? I used to give consideration, and now I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if we overlap him a little bit. I don't give a fuck if I start while he's on. I don't give a fuck. I don't think about it. It's not my concern. I used to give a consideration, and now I don't. But I certainly don't gun for the man. And this idea, again, he thinks everybody's after. I knew as soon as Adam was gone, they'd all think I'm weak. First of all, you are, bitch. You are weak. You are weak. Who knew how much Adam protected you? Who knew, bitch? Who knew? <laughs> fuck. I, 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 I'll I talk about your wife in as much as that. I can't believe she stays with you, you weak man. You weak red man. You weak, weak, fucking emotionally vulnerable, sensitive bitch of a man. Yeah, I'll talk about your wife. She could do better. I'll talk about your wife. She's out with a loser. I'll talk about your wife. She married a fucking asshole. She married an inhumane piece of shit. Yeah, I'll talk about your wife. She's married to a guy who doesn't get along with anyone, including his own family. He, she, she married a guy. He was on there the other day going like, I don't even want to be on Rogan. Why would I be on Rogan? You want to be on Rogan so bad, bitch. You want to be on Rogan so bad. Why would you talk about it? You're losing your mind. His brother's special is getting good reviews. I was on a Reddit thread, a random thread. And I just searched Neil Brennan. I want to see what the people are saying. It's unreal. Again, I know if you hate stand-up, you'll hey be like, Hey, buddy, it's love what you do, but have to correct you. I broke Kevin, not you. I, 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 not sure how, not sure why. I'm not even funny or very likable. Jesus. <laughs> Keep up the good work, buddy. Let's connect soon. I don't even know what I was saying. I don't even know what I was saying. But I'm right. I'm right. That interrupted me. I had no idea what the fuck I was even saying. Holy shit. I, I just. Uh, drive by. Sorry about that. Uh, drive by. It's nice to see Pat Dixon's finally come to the realization of just how much of a filthy liar and scumbag Kevin Brennan truly is. I, I, people were like, they're like. I'm not kidding. There were more than one person who was like, Neil Brennan's one of the best doing it today. Neil Brennan's one of the best comics working today. And that made me fall out laughing because, of course, he's not. Of course, he's not. That's insane. But people loved the special. People really did like his last special. It wasn't depressing. It wasn't gimmicky. It didn't feel like the three mics or the blocks bullshit. 
Because I really, I, I did not enjoy those. I did not enjoy those. But, but people do love, it's driving him nuts that this new special is being held um, in good esteem. It's driving him nuts. And then he went, and then he went on Rogan. His cope for that was, he, Rogan only had him on because he knows him from the comedy store. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Rogan knows most of his comic friends from. The comedy store. Is this the, again, is this the sick burn? Melton looks like he works on his thumbnails. <laughs> Rogan only had him on because he knows him from the comedy store. Okay. Correct. I mean, okay. <laughs> like, a uh, good one? Chad only opens up for Godfrey because he met him once. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People only hang out with each other once they've met. That is correct. That is correct. So, like, I, again, I don't know what the burn is here. I'm, I'm still trying to decipher it. They're only doing a show together because they met. <laughs> Sick, Kevin. Sick. It's a couple of months. Though I know, Kevin, you're only married to your wife because you guys met once. You're only married to her because you guys ran into each other that one time. It's like what the fuck? It was two months. I didn't. See, I haven't seen Neil and Rogan. To be honest with you, I haven't watched really anything since Friday. Again, I I haven't had a fucking weekend. I didn't want to do this show this morning. Oh yeah, you went. And, you saw him in AC. Hung out with him. You hung out. <laughs> yeah, he was even on your fucking show by the way pat you know i like this i like you mocking i like you having an opinion i like you being based this will this will help your show if you just start speaking your mind a little more he's too diplomatic for me pat's very easy going and fair i don't like that run your mouth be a hothead people want to hear about it you can always backpedal lately i'm wrong all the time get used to it <laughs> in the meantime no problems. But then one day it sticks in your craw. No one actually ever calls me out on the shit I'm really wrong about. People want to call me out on shit that they think I'm wrong about that I'm never wrong about. Mountain hired a PI, and I remember him saying it. Okay, any clips? No. I've looked everywhere. <laughs> but I do remember it. Okay, well, keep me posted. Your craw. And so now you want to, like, fucking make that about me being some kind of dickhead because i'm like yeah i said i would do this thing i'm committed to it doesn't affect you in any way it's not an adverse thing to you yeah but you're doing a show and he's talking and he's doxing my wife <laughs> is she okay is she okay doesn't go against you i th think that you basically ended up using it as some kind of fucking loyalty test He did. By the way, he tried it before. We're, do we all forget the first time he tried it? We all remember this, right? A month or two ago, he announced it. He said, anyone who does Hackamania will never be on MLC again. And almost like as it came out of his mouth, he thought, oh, fuck. I got to stand by this. And then, of course, you know, in the next coming days, he peddled it back. And Pat and Ray were on. He did try it before, though. He, he put his foot down. He said, anyone who does Hackamania, you're done here. You'll never be on MLC again. That goes for Pat. He tried this two months ago and failed. He loves to control men. He loves it. He loves it. He wants financial control. He wants, he wants complete, you know, social control. I, I don't get it. And and you use it uh, to justify like whatever fucking I I mean honest to God man I don't know what you're so fucking bitter about I really just had the it's it's called Neil it really is just Neil it really is he he like he can't take it his younger brother's still relevant and he's not his younger brother is way more relevant than he ever was he can't take it. 
I listened to him yell about Kyle Mooney being a loser the other day. It's like Kyle Mooney was in a, a hundred sketches being way funnier than, than Kevin Brennan was on SNL. And how long was Kevin on SNL? It's like, where, and where does it even come from? You know, where does this attack on Kyle Mooney come from? It's all insecurity. He's not happy with his performances. He's not happy with his career. So he's got to shit on everyone. Every, it's like Chad. Everyone you make fun of is doing better. Everyone. <laughs> Ray should just quit podcasting. He's awful. He's doing better than you, Chad. Pat Dixon's got to quit. He's doing better than you, Chad. Uh one central idea you know i'm not here on rumble not making my youtube money because of anything related to you i didn't even give a fuck about you not even having me on anymore so just let it go but you won't you won't that's the beauty of it too it's like pants said any like Kevin kicked him off the show. Kevin's not having him back on. And Pat's never complained or said anything about it. And yet Pat, Pat's getting fucking dumped on every show by Kevin. Also, they're all lies. Again, Kevin wants you to believe that Pat's on Rumble making no money because he fucked with Kevin. I mean, the only, again, the only way that's true is if Kevin reported Pat's channel. In, in which case, again, what a giant piece of shit this guy is. What a giant sack of shit this guy is, if that's true. Believe it or not, we got more Mersh. You know, Mersh hated, uh, hated Melton talking about their marriage. Mersh didn't like it when Melton went after Steel Toe's marriage. But Mersh actually has some thoughts on their marriage itself. Listen to this. Yes, Sam, I'm still to go. That is if he's not divorced by that. Are they really having, like, yo, are Aaron and April, like, really having, do I need to reach out? Are they really having problems like that? I love that he's like, are Aaron and April really having problems? Do I need to reach out? Yes, Mersh, yes. People need you to help their relationship problems. A guy who's never owned anything, never been in a serious relationship, can't can't navigate the world without being, uh, in a in a broken down 2008 BMW drunk running it into walls. Yeah, the guy who has to do a fundraiser every six months for some major life emergency. Yeah, why don't you give April and Aaron a call and get their marriage back on track? <laughs> He's like, do I have to call? Does old Mersh need to call and set them up a romantic fish lunch? We got a fish lunch. Do I need a... Ugh. Does old matchmaker Mersh have to call and fix it again? <laughs> yeah, Mersh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what? I, that well, seems pretty way. stupid. Stop it. Well, I, I should talk about it. No, I, I said I, I'm going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. Although, I, I was the one that said that, what, two years ago? When did I tell Steel Toe that? I mean, everybody would have told them this immediately. Don't do a show with your wife. That you fucking don't, it's, it's, bro. By the way, watch this fat fucking loser. Sorry, my, my language. Watch this fat fucking loser. He can't do a show without eating his fucking ham hand. He cannot stop. This is another sign of a fucking low IQ motherfucker who will sit there and talk to you while they're doing this. And yeah, and I don't do a show like that. I told him. I told him. I told him that that was a bad idea. I told him don't do a fucking show. Yeah, I, I was telling him that. For, I'm sorry. Do you want us to come back when you finish your snack? The fuck are you eating your fucking hand about? The whole time. He's like, are, I'm sorry. We'll come back when you're done gnawing at yourself. Again, no one bites their nails more than me. No one. It's it's very bad. I, I'm horrible at it. You'll never see me on the show.
Curb it. Curb it for a few hours. You're busy. You're on, people can see your face and you're biting off chunks of meat from under your nails. Do you have snacks under those things? What's going on? Watch. You'll never be able to unsee it now. Watch how much he gnaws on his fist. It is a miracle. A miracle when you can find a woman who can not only be funny and do a good show, which hey, I think April's funny and is good on the show. But it's a miracle when you can find a chick that also is built for this life. <laughs> Let me just get this. And then and then you think about Mooby picking food out of his teeth and then eating it. We saw that. We saw Mooby do this. While April was talking, he picked two chunks of old meals out of his old mouth bones and then licked it off his finger we watched that so like they're just like filthy gross weirdos they're like gross fucking people man like you're on camera you're on camera and you're picking food out of your mouth and then eating it <laughs> fuck all right sorry gnaw on your hands some more and tell us about how good their relationship is just saying, a lot of these bitches ain't built for this life. <laughs> what are you built for? A bounce castle? Happy hour? A padded room? And I tried to warn that motherfucker a long time ago. Like, don't, don't be co-hosts with your wife. This is your friend who's going back in for more mouse snacks. This is your friend who's going to go back in and eat some more cartilage off his hands. I told you not to do it. Kunk, 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 kunk. Watch him gnaw this hand. <laughs> Imagine taking a break. You're on. You're on. It's dead air. You're on. You're on. <laughs> no one's talking. It's just silent while you eat your fucking hand. Because you got to... There's always going to be some weird fucking shit that they're going to do. They're always going to look for little little weaknesses and chinks in the armor and shit. And, like, the woman is always going to be the chink in the armor. You need some hand candy? I j He's just quiet while he digs in his mouth. He just lets four seconds of silence go out over his air while he digs around in his mouth. With his big fat fingers. It's so gross. Tell me again about my back. I, I, again, it's clean, you know. I never I never go to, go to my back and fish food out of it in the middle of a show. Toss myself some salmon. Crack open an oyster on my chest like a seal. And just partake in a seafood buffet. Anybody got a lemon? <laughs> Fuck. Pass the Tabasco. I'm hungry. I mean, he just eats his hand. He'll, he'll, he'll be quiet for five seconds while he gnaws on his hand. Genuinely, like, you know, would never do that shit with my girl. Like, if I. With my girl! Which cat are you talking about? Which cat? My girl. Who are we talking about? Penelope Primrose or old. Or, or 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 Clarence. I mean, my girl, my girl. Like, if you want your relationship to succeed, like, I, uh, you know, look. Hold on, let me eat some fingers before I tell you how it all works. Let me, let me. I gotta get a lot of hangnails going so I can finger my bitch later. <laughs> She loves when I just dig out grooves on the side of her pussy like a cave painting. She loves it. She loves it. I won't be happy until they're bleeding. Even if your girl isn't on the show, right? She, she's going to have to deal with the peripheral bullshit of dating you. Like, I've dated girls that had to deal with bullshit just because they dated me. Yeah, you said that. And it's a shitty feeling. But if they if they're not extremely online women, 
Is she an extremely online woman? Just can you give us a description? Was she extremely online? <laughs> If they're not terminally online and they're not doing a show with you, it, generally they're only going to catch a couple of ricochets. People aren't going to be gunning for them 24 <clears> 7. <throat> Dennis Michaels, I heard she's staying with her parents now. Not a good sign. No, really? Ooh, I, I mean, I wish the best for him. I don't want them to be. But... Now he's picking stuff out of his nose. So dumb. That's the clip. All right, that's the clip. Marsh would that's never, should, yeah. ever do that with his woman. <laughs> I love that. I love that comment. I'd never do that with my woman. Oh. Oh. She's not an extremely online lady. <laughs> uh, hit the like button. There's over 700 people watching, only 239 likes. I find that completely unacceptable. And basically, when you don't hit the like button, you're you're basically telling Fearless she's worthless, stupid, ugly, uneducated, malnutritioned, has uneven tits, a wonky eye, thin hair, rusty skin, uh, brittle bone. <laughs> okay, I don't know. You get it. You've seen pictures of her. Don't. All right, here we go. Uh, it's the moment everybody's been waiting for. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the last night's members only show. This was a pathetic attempt at a broadcast. It really, really was. It was a sad, sad show. It's the one we've been waiting for. Again, uh, Pat Dixon's going to get a, a hundred bucks from me for this. Bet. And um, he doesn't make us wait. That's for damn sure. He does not think make us wait. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. I left the windows open. Oh, Jesus. That Why does he? Is he talking about actual windows or windows on his computer? By the way, everybody, here's the new set, new template, new graphics, new camera angle. Wow. They spent all weekend. They rearranged the banner, the cameras. April worked on a new template. Look at this, everybody. We've been waiting for the day when Steel Toe put something back into the show. And look at it. Look at it. New banner. Um. Dope, right? Dope. Very, very cool. Everything's new. I mean, it looks so much better. Logos. He announced he was doing it all week. He teased it. Where will I put the camera? We're going to have to do that. I just thought about the wire. Remember that? Remember all the ideas he had last week? I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. When we come back, things are going to be very, very different and very, very cute. <laughs> it's, the, it's just like, uh, we thought about doing something with the show, and then we just decided, eh, uh, eh. Uh, why? Why would we? Why would we? I mean, why fix it if it ain't broke? <laughs> you know what you want on your green screen? A picture of another guy standing in front of his green screen. That's what you really want. Is there a bald loser standing in front of a green screen that you could put on your backdrop? Just to remind us <laughs> that you used to have a bald loser on your show? Like, I guess. I guess. Can we get the likes to 300 for her? She's having a she's having a bet, rocky. Can we get it up? Can we do it? Hit the like. We had a back lunch. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> we had a fish lunch. We had a back lunch. So, by the way, uh, for anybody who who uh, had, I bet Steel Toe does nothing to their show. 
and just keeps on keeping on. They'll never, ever change anything. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's the exact same, and it will never change. He left windows open, so we're seeing a reflection, I guess, of the outside. He's got his empty chair. He's moved himself to kind of the middle, but it's not really the middle. And he still has the empty chair next to him (laughs) to remind us all that his wife left him. Oh, no. I will do this for an hour. This is a a titty shirt, too, isn't it? Did you just see him push that chair out of the way? This is a titty shirt, too, he said. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God, I left the windows open. Oh, Jesus. It goes to show you, like, how much prep comes into a show. He sits down, he hits go live, and that's the show. And then when he gets a look at himself in the in the monitor, he goes, oh, fuck, the windows are open. Like, it, he's not tuned in. We're dealing with guys who are switched off motherfuckers. Like, these guys are turned off. He didn't know till he saw himself in a little square Oh, fuck, the window's open. (laughs) It's like, again, the window's there. It's right there. (laughs) But he went, oh, the window's open. (laughs) Like He had to to see it here, tiny, to be able to go, oh, fuck, the the window. Oh, shit. I had no idea. I don't really think about this show or look around before I start it. I just come down and lazily hit get money. I think he changed the go live button to say, get money, get dollars, need help, running low. That's what the button says. Ah, we'll do this for an hour. This is a, a titty shirt too, isn't it? Fuck me. What a mess. Well, every shirt is a titty shirt. If you have titties. <laughs> right, KB? Hold on. Did KB leave too? We never see KB in the chat anymore. Have we lost all... The distinguished ladies, Ga, KB. I don't know what to think anymore. Welcome to the Steel Toe members only show. I'm starting it early today because I have a meeting at 7 o'clock. Sunday night. I have a meeting at 7 o'clock on a Sunday night. On a Sunday, I have a meeting. What the shit? Uh, I do. I have a meeting at 7 o'clock. I mean, this has to be, like, what's open at 7 p.m. on a Sunday in Minnesota? This is like counseling or custody related. Uh, We got a couple of things to tell you tonight. Uh, Some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Steve's guitar says, I'd be so happy if April was on the show tonight. Ah, Steve, I'm so sorry. Uh, April is, uh, we can officially say now, uh, April is done. (laughs) April is done. We can officially say it. Chat, check. Chat, check. What are they saying? How are they taking it? Chat check. With uh, the Steel Toe Show. Steve, I'm so sorry. Uh, April is, uh, we can officially say now, uh, April is done with uh, the Steel Toe Show. I've made a huge mistake. She is. (sighs) I miss my partner. I miss my friend. I miss the woman who fell in love with what I've fallen in love with. She's doing no ring again. Good call. No wedding ring again. She's gone. She's not in this house. I I, I don't believe she's in the house. The way he talks about her, she's not there. Listen. Better. April is done with uh, the Steel Toe Show. She is... April will always be a part of the Steel Toe Morning Show. 
I'll never let her get a job. This is a week ago. This is a fucking week ago. April will never get a job. She will always be part of the Steel Toe Morning Show. Uh, take that back. She'll never be on another program, and she's getting a job. <laughs> Correction! <laughs> Where's MLC clips in here? Correction! I know what I said about her always being a part of the show and never getting a job. Uh, just a quick update. She's getting a job, and she's no longer part of the show. Just everything I said, but reversed. Sorry about that. She's doing better. She's doing better. After the slip and fall, after the miscarriage, after the, oh, after the mean internet words. She's doing better. She can almost walk. She's almost out of bed. <laughs> she has good days and bad. Some days she sits up and can, can eat a little soup. <laughs> it's like she's feeling better. Don't forget, she was sick for two months, and now it's been two weeks we haven't seen her. And he talks about her like she's got got grids. You know, we're all we're all supposed to be like. He he really does give us health updates, like like recovering from hernia surgery. She's she's doing better. She's starting to recover. Um, she's working with a physical therapist. He's definitely fucking her. That's his name's Nick Ricada. She had to go over to his house and help him straighten out a tree, if you know what I mean. <laughs> straighten out a tree. Straighten out a tree. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, she's doing better, but uh, I she doesn't want to go back. <laughs> I want my partner back. I want my friend. Uh, she's putting on weight again. That's good. She she talks about hunting. She stares longingly at her rifle, hoping that feeling will return to her digits and she can once again grip the trigger. <laughs> like, like, what is wrong with her? She's doing better. <laughs> what happened? Did, did Melton dox her? Fuck. Is, is this what Kevin Brennan's wife's going through? She's doing better. You know, after Melton said uh, that gorilla bitch, uh, she wasn't she wasn't able to eat for weeks. She was she kept calling her parents, asking if she could pack a bag. She doesn't want to go back to the abuse. The abuse. The abuse is sitting right here. The abuse is Aaron. Again, I I this bitch ain't tired of the internet and the show. She's tired of you. I said it last week and I'll say it again. She listened to him and fell in love with him. She knows everything about this dude. He doesn't know shit about her. She's pretty and she liked him. That's it. That's it. So then she had to move in with him and watch every perception, every preconceived construction she had about him be proved wrong in real time. He's not a manly man. He said he was good with tools. He owns two my first Fisher Price toolboxes. The minute he took out that red, yellow, and blue wrench, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> the minute he grabbed his hammer and it squeaked, I was like, Jesus Christ. She's, she's had to watch as he doesn't know how to change tires. I, I, I wouldn't surprise me if he had to, if she had to like come around to his side of the truck and give him a boost up into the, up into the cab. I, I like, he's the kind of guy he probably like, I don't like the leather on the steering wheel. It hurts my hands. <laughs> He's got a fur he's got one of those furry steering wheel covers. <laughs> the shift knob is sharp. <laughs> it feels like my wife's hips. It's just pointy and hurts my skin. I mean, it just like everything about him is a lie. 
the show's doing great. We're making more money than ever. We have tons of listeners. She's like, I'm the GM, and none of that's true. I'm the GM. Don't know where to buy stamps or can't afford stamps. Which one? Which one is it? She doesn't want to go back to the meanness. She doesn't. Basically, what I, I, I. April, you told me you got to let that stuff go. You got to let that roll off your back. Don't let it affect you. Remember when you gave me advice? <laughs> if I'm if I'm getting it right, I could be wrong. How could you be wrong? I don't think she's there. He acts like he doesn't talk to her. I I, I think I'm right. I think she's just tired of the meanness. I could be wrong. I have you talked to her about it? Like, how do you? It's been two weeks. How do you not know? How do you not know what's going on with your wife who lives in your house? She's there, right? She's there. This was your weekend without the kids. You had them last weekend. You had your neighbors watch them while you pretended to do a show alone. Now it's your weekend without the kids. And you, you're you not sure? I thought you guys were going to have a big talk. I thought you going to redo the template. April was going to help with the camera. But I think just being out in the public and having people say things about you that uh one time she said something perfect uh she said if i ever uh go and like go to get other work why would you have to do that steel toe has never had more listeners and never done better you're twice as big as every other show your money's up you never miss goals Rumble Fridays are automatic. Why would she ever have to look for another job? Why would she ever need to go get other work? I mean, why would that even be on your mind? You guys are part of the fastest growing internet show on the net. Why is this even crossing your mind? Other job, other work, baby girl. <laughs> You're Aaron, You're April Imholt. You're going to be in the Broadcast Hall of Fame. Uh, you're, you, you are a coveted voice in a world full of mediocre talents. You're, 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 I mean, fuck. Nobody puts a show on like we do, and, and nobody, you know, I, I truly believe we do one of the best shows, and nobody could ever do it at all. Remember? Can April fly solo? Huh. <laughs> Of course she can. She's a pro. Can April fly solo? Of course. Of course. Child's play. Child's play. She'll never be back on again. That shit can follow me around. That, if I ever want to get other work. Uh, she said, if I ever uh, go and, like, go to get other work, <laughs> that shit can follow me around. Listen to that, every 22-year-old thinking about starting an OnlyFans account. I didn't know that they'd be able to look that up when I'm 30. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you think Citizen M and all the other Clippers aren't working on a April making racist and Nazi remarks super cut to send out to every employer <laughs> that we find out, you're applying to. And again, I say we, I mean the internet. I, I, I don't have time to do this and I'll never do it personally, but I know 19 motherfuckers will. I know they do it to me. They do it to everybody else. Like you're, you're no, you're not special. And by the way, until she comes out and tells us she can't even come out and say goodbye to the fans. She's beloved. So many people want her back. She has so much support and love. The fans really want her. They love her. She can't come back in front of the camera and say, it's best for my mental health if I don't do this anymore. Thank you guys so much for everything. We'll never hear from her again. No, 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 no. Until she quits. Until she comes out and quits, she hasn't quit. Again, this is like, this is what a husband would do if he buried a body in the backyard. We haven't seen a body. I, I, I need more. This is not closure. Uh, April's, April's decided she wants to cook all day. <laughs> the good news is he said last week, 150 bucks off the morning goal and a hundred bucks off the night goal. If April quits, 
150 off the morning goal and 100 off the night goal if April quits. He said that last week. So that's coming, right? I think you know the answer. So I understand that. I think it's important. Uh, it's caused me to like look back on a lot of things, too. And, and- this is wild. Again, this is the closest thing he could ever say to Patrick's right about everything. Listen to what he's about to say. This is going to blow your tits back. Hello? Hey, Patrick, you need to tell your boy uh, Sword and Scale he needs to get ready for a new episode, the uh, the Aaron uh, in April uh, murders. Yeah. You hear that, Mike Boudet? Sword and Scale dot com. Sword and Scale dot TV, is it? Sword and Scale. Um, if you're into murder, you know, all you ladies should be into that. You fucking weird Netflix murder hoes. <laughs> And I'm going to say this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Again, everyone else knew this. Everyone else already knows what you're about to say. He's just figuring it out. And he wants you to believe he did it on his own. I definitely didn't watch everything Melton said about me, and now I'm going to regurgitate it out to you. What I'm about to say to you 100% is not what Melton said. These are my own thoughts. I'm a smart guy, and I'm going to use my own words, not literally exactly the same thing Melton said. Ready for this? I don't um, I don't think it was a good idea on my part to ask April to come and work here full time. You're going to like the way you look. I don't think it was a good idea on my part to ask April to come and work here full time. Hello, exactly. No shit. A, being a woman on the internet is terrible. I mean, this, he'll never, this is how you know this is all fake. He's going to try to pretend like he's accepting responsibility here. Again, I, I, I was talking to somebody last night, a very beloved chatter. And his theory is that she's not there either. And when you think about how he's speaking, it is almost like he's sending this out to her wherever she is watching this. I'm hoping mama let, I'm hoping first of all, they got internet out on the farm. And then I hope that mama lets her have the TV on and she can hear what I'm saying. This has the earmarks of every... Part in every, you know, troubled love story where, like, the dude on TV or he, you know, runs onto the news station, hijacks the mic, or runs out onto the field and with a sign with hopes that she'll see it wherever she is, or a skywriter. It has the earmarks of a guy who's sending out a message to his loved one wherever she is, but he's not sure. He's not talking to her upstairs anymore. He's not talking to his wife today. Things he says, like, I'm not sure if I have this right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that. It's like, why aren't you sure about how she's feeling? Why aren't you sure the reason? I think she's just tired of the, I think. I might be wrong. He's always checking his phone. She's texting him. Where is she? This doesn't sound like a couple that's had conversations. It doesn't sound like a uh, th- this couple talks. And B, I've been kind of going through Ooh. things in. Nope, you've been watching. You've been watching NLO. Listen to the. I mean, he just says everything I said last week. My head. I think it was a remarkably narcissistic move on my part to do it in the first place. To hire her. And there's a lot, there's a lot of pieces uh, chat, chat. Um, of me that I've been thinking about. There's a lot of pieces of me that I've been thinking about. Uh, due to all this, the online stuff. Due to all this, the online stuff. Again, 
You'd never guess this guy makes a living on the internet from how he talks about the internet. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what anything is or how it works. You know, I like doing my internet radio show, but nobody should have to put up with the online stuff. Okay, go on. And, uh, you know, April leaving the show and and you know taking her time off and everything. Time off. Uh, and that is that a lot of my behavior. Oh no, has been that I, I'm not even. You know what? I'm not even going to say that it was narcissistic behavior because that sounds like an excuse. I'm a narcissist. Ah. And I need to stop. <laughs> this sounds like an edit. This sounds like something someone made up. I'm a narcissist and I need to stop. As he says it, he looks to the chat. Chat, check. This is another Aaron M. Holt production do not i repeat april do not fall for this this is going to have a resemblance to an apology a resemblance to holding himself accountable taking responsibility it's all optics. It's all motions. It's all bullshit. Everything he says, he's watching that chat room. Chat check. I'm a narcissist. The fact, the simple fact of the matter is, April, I owe you an apology. I'm a narcissist, and I need to stop. If you're talking to somebody, you're not worried about what the peanut gallery thinks. I just, I don't get in that. I'm a narcissist, and I need to stop. I mean, he, he can't stop checking that chat. He can't. He can't. He, hate, he hates that he has to, but he needs it. I'm a narcissist, and I need to stop. I must be stopped. <laughs> that I, I'm not even you know what I'm not even going to say that it was narcissistic behavior because that sounds like an excuse I'm a narcissist and I need to stop and uh, I, I will say and I'm very proud of this Ooh. Uh, next week I am going to uh, well, I, well, I'm going to look tonight but I I'm going to look tonight I thought you had an appointment You have to go because you have an appointment, but you're also going to be hunting for a therapist on a Sunday night? Okay, I'm listening. I've gotten some good resources. I'm going to go figure out how to not be one. I'm, again, chat check. Is that good? Am I doing good? You guys buying this? I'm going to go figure out how to not be a narcissist. And if I know me, I'll excel at that. If I know me, I'm going to be one of the best not narcissists in the class. It wouldn't surprise me if on day one my teacher pulled me aside and she was like, I can tell all these guys in class aren't narcissists, but you aren't the narcissist of them all. You're, you're really doing great at making this not about you. And, and I can't help that. I know my haters are going to hate that. They're going to be like one therapy session and you're not a narcissist. You're done. I can't help how fast I learn. I'm very, very educated and smart. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I know that makes our haters so mad. And they're all over there like, mm -hmm. Do it. I'm oh, Aaron, oh, Stilto. How did he become not a narcissist so quickly? And I just say, I don't know what to tell you, bud. It's a sad way to live your life. Thinking Stilto is a narcissist all the time. Just not true. Don't fall for this at all. It's so, it's so stupid. It's so fake. Narcissistic behavior because that sounds like an excuse. I'm a narcissist <laughs> and I need to stop. Woo. 
Every time he checks that chat, just throw away what he says. It's not real. And uh, I, I will say, and I'm very proud of Chat, chat. This. Uh, next week, I am going to, uh, well, I, well, I'm going to look tonight. Again, how does he have time for all this? Therapy, appointments, April ain't there. But I have gotten some good resources. I'm going to go figure out how to not be one. Because or- it's easy. It's easy to live your life as a narcissist in an occupation that pretty much reinforces that constantly and just go learn to not be. I'm going to CVS right after this and asking them for no narcissism pills. Excuse me, which aisle are your no narcissism pills on? Sir, we don't have anything like that. I think you do. Look again. (laughs) Sir, that doesn't exist. Oh, so now you're telling me I don't know what I'm talking about? Do you know who I am? (laughs) I can see you need the pills, sir, but it's still, that's not a real thing. Oh, so now you're telling... Or or how to... (laughs) All he cares about is what you think. Watch this. It needs to be shown right watch his eyes they're only on the chat but i have gotten some good resources i'm gonna go figure out how to not be one or or how how to i mean he laser locked on what you think on what you think not be that kind of guy Um, and by the way, you know, part of this, part of any kind of recovery and, uh, uh, step nine, man, step nine, make amends. Don't you owe an apology? Not just to me again, cause I don't, I don't want people to think I would ever take credit for what's happened here today. This is a cumulative effort of. Hundreds of people. Big part, big part of it, big part of the pie, big cause. Sure, sure, sure. Like Citizen M had had a big part of it, you know, recently. And again, everybody just piling on. But his complete. This is so fake, and you can tell by the way his mannerisms are. All he cares about is the chat believe him. Is the chat believing this contrition? And I think it'll help my relationship. It'll help my marriage. Uh, I think it'll help my other relationships with other people. I think it'll help me be a better father. Shouldn't you have to say to everyone who called this stuff out for years, you were right. I want to apologize to Melton. I used a lot of obfuscation techniques and misdirection and cope, cope to, to keep saying like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just Red Bar ruined him. He's just fat. He was just bullied. When, he, when you come out and say everything he's been saying is right, you owe me an apology, right? We all called this. Everyone called this. Everyone said what you're saying long, long ago. You should at least say, and a lot of the stuff I was projecting and putting onto other people was was me being uncomfortable and insecure. And I don't like what's happened to me and my show and how I've treated You know, I mean, again, it's part of any real recovery. If you're really recognizing these mistakes and these character flaws, if you're really the guy who's going to be like, well, I shouldn't have brought April in. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have said April can handle and let anything roll off her back better than anyone else. She's the best. That was a mistake. I want an apology. Tweet him. I want an apology. He doesn't get any tweets either. 
He doesn't get any interaction, so you he'll see it. You tweet him. I want an apology. Little Emmy would like one too. Was she projecting, or was your show in trouble? Lemmy, Lemmy would like an apology. Citizen M would like an apology. The hundreds of people you have blocked and turned away from you would like an apology. Hello. Hey, man, I want an apology from that motherfucking asshole. But listen, I want to ask real quick. Have you noticed since April's been gone, I've talked to a couple of people about this, his new, like, pouty lips, like he's, like, trying to, like, push his lips out and be more pouty. Have you noticed this? No, he's doing the Owen Wilson. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, watch for it. You'll never unsee it. Once you see it, you're going to be like, oh, my God. And now I just can't unsee it. It's fucking weird. All right. I'll but look. It's, only been, it's only started since April's been gone. Huh. And fuck him. I want an apology. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's have a look and see if he's uh, pursing his lips. <laughs> Not that I'm, I think I'm a, a stellar father. I really do. But you can always be better. Um, I can be a better husband. I can be a better friend. I can now it makes sense why I think I'm a stellar father. Be a better everything. You're the best. You can be a better broadcaster. And so as I've been thinking about this whole thing. Again, nothing to do with all the clips and all the shows of Melton saying this exact thing this past week. This has nothing to do with that. I've been thinking. Again, everything he thinks is a flex is like really like a revelation of an insult and a and a layer of stupidity. You've never thought this before? You've never thought about this. You've never run this through that supercomputer you call a brain. No, I just re- I just for the first time thought about why I hired April and why I did I'm that. I'm sorry. Thing. I'm really sorry. I am super duper sorry. We're sorry. No, really. I'm really sorry. I, I just the fact that you haven't ever thought about this until now proves how dumb you are. I've been thinking about a lot of the things I've done. Look at that. Have you? Why, when you're in the middle of telling us, uh, guys, I've been thinking a lot about what I've been doing. You don't do that. You don't do that. If you're really, really genuine and you're looking down and you're going, I've been thinking a lot about what I've been. You don't. Check the chat. You don't do a chat check. This this guy yesterday that I that I uh emailed and was like curt to and not kind. Which was it was just a mistake. It was just a, a shitty way to be. I, I'm I, I'm genuinely sorry to that guy. I fucked up. I'm not perfect. I I'm I I, I have a short fuse and a and a bat and a and a and I just snapped at the dude and he didn't deserve it. And you notice how while I'm telling you about this, I'm looking down. It's re- like it's real. Like I do, I've sent two or three emails to the guy saying I'm sorry. Like I fucked up. I, I will use this as a life lesson. Like I, I'm just a guy. Like like everybody else. Like I just I fuck up. I'm an emotional wreck sometimes. But while I'm telling you all this, I haven't once checked the chat because it's real. Like I. I the guy knows who he is. Let me say his name. Because it's real. And it doesn't matter what the chat thinks about this. This is a real thing. I don't tell you that I'm going to go to a... Um, so I told the guy that I was sorry. And I made a mistake. I'm just a human, you know? I, I, I make mistakes like everybody else. <laughs> I, I, every fucking thing about this dude just rings fake. Friend, I um, and I think it'll help my relationship. It'll help my marriage. Um, I think it'll help my other relationships with other people. I think it'll help me be a better father. Not that I, I think I'm a, a stellar father. I really do, but you can always be better. Um, I can be a better husband. He doesn't believe it. I don't think he believes it. I think he's done with her. Again, simply for the fact that he doesn't know her. <laughs> like, she was just a super fan willing to suck his dick, and it's the best-looking woman he's ever come across. So he's like, uh, save, save game, save game. Would love to play again. Save game. 
friend. I can be a better friend. I can be a better everything. And so as I've been thinking about this whole thing, I've been thinking about a lot of the things I've done for just like the last, I'd say, seven, eight, nine, ten years of my life. Why well, have you been thinking about that? He's trying to think about what, what uh, color jacket you're going to wear to your Radio Hall of Fame induction. Why are you thinking about that? I've been thinking about my last 10 years of my life. I've been thinking about why I married Ashley and why I pumped another baby in her to try to save the marriage and then why I left her with that baby and then while I tricked this other farm girl into marriage. Hello? <laughs> yeah, do you hear him? I, 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 I. I could do this. I could do that. I, 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 I. That's narcissism, right? Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, that's how a therapist will tell you to talk, too. Tell your feelings. Tell you. I mean, look, people say I all the time. Hey, Fatty Patty, why are you ignoring the fact that April quit just to stick it to me (laughs) and that Aaron destroyed his show and his marriage just to stick to me? (laughs) Right, right. Kevin probably believes that. and He's working on a theory. Hey guys, I just finished my first narcissism session, and guess what? By the end of the session, I was giving the therapist advice on their life. She thanked me for being such a great patient and wants to do more sessions with me. Yes. This is why I'm the greatest on-air personality ever made. Uh, It's so true. It's so true. Beloved Chatter, um, uh, hold on, is this? What What is FFW? FFW a month. Fast forward a month. So I went to so I went to ther- therapy. I I didn't know that isn't FFW like what they used to put it. I thought it was FWD. Yeah, we'll argue about acronyms later. So I went to therapy and basically I'm cooler and healthier. So I went to therapy and basically I'm cooler and healthier than I thought. And this is April's fault. Sorry that makes you losers mad. Yeah, it turns out my, look. I didn't want it to be this way, but I went to a therapist and they said, you're actually, not only are you the most balanced, you know, neurologically well person I've ever encountered, this entire session has been banger entertaining. I've got to be honest with you. This felt like a radio show. What was the name of that towing place again you said in the middle of your confession? All city... And then where can I get ammo? Mention steel toe at Midland Armory. Got it, got it. And then after this, would you like to go to get a drink at that filthy house you call a bar? (laughs) I'd love that. April is good. She is fine. She's in a better place now. There are actually a lot of pieces of her, I mean, Amy, that I had to consider. But she won't come back. I am the ghost in the machine, all that remains. My corporal form never left the house. Aaron surprised me. I should have never taught him how to hunt. It went bang, (laughs) and the last thing I painted was Mooby. But I'll continue to mock him from beyond the online. You got to stay on the phone, 985, just because I don't get to you right away. I'm in the middle of playing playing an AI thing, so the person on the phone hangs up. I'm not going to wait for this comment to finish for you to get to me. Good news, everyone. I browsed over a few pamphlets, and now I'm not only cured, but I'm ready to begin work on my new book, A Narcissist No More. Go to hell, Aaron. I hate you. Also, he's doing that classic thing like, you know, like fat people do. Like, I'm actually going to be starting a diet next week where I lose 100 pounds. Well, I'm look, tonight I'm going to look into it and, like, look into diets and see if I can find a guy who could help me get into that. But, yeah, pretty much I've lost 100 pounds. <laughs> it's like, what? He went like, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, uh, this week, I'm going to a therapist to figure out how to not be a narcissist. I'm looking, I'll, I'm going to look into that tonight. I'm going to try to find one. It's like, but you just said you were going this week. What if the one you find doesn't have an appointment this week? But in his head, he already had the appointment. It went well, and he's the best. You know what I mean? Like, these guys are not. 
These, these guys are fucking insane. They, in his mind, he's already he's he's done it. And it's again, it's like he's saying this to April out there, as if she's watching. As if she's watching and she's gonna go like, he's gonna get help? He's gonna do this for me? Oh, fuck. Maybe I'll stay. Maybe I'll come back to the old toe. <laughs> Hello. So three months ago, I went to therapy for April, and we had some family sessions, and it turned out I ended up being a therapist for the whole sessions, and they ended up leaving because they must be sick with, like, some kind of brain amoeba because turns out I'm perfect. Yeah, There's nothing actually, I can do wrong. Actually, the therapist brought his wife in, and we all started swinging. <laughs> I swung with the therapist's wife, and I gave her some consultation as well for the low price of two twenty-five. Totally. She paid me via Venmo. Uh, thank you. Uh, fucking. Believe it or not, my therapist had a hot tub. We invited the Ricadas over. It was very, very cute. No more shows for my therapist's hot tub. People don't donate. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, he's really going to get better for her. Can you believe it? And I would say, you know, you can't say, I don't like it when people say, oh, I'm doing things that are narcissistic in nature. Well, then you're a narcissist. If you no, no, no. That's not, how, that's not how that works at all. That's not how, that, anybody can be a, nar anybody can do something that's narcissistic. If you if you do something narcissistic, you're a narcissist. If you've ever struck a match, you're an arsonist. If you've ever swung a hammer, you're a carpenter. These are fa I don't make the rules, people. If you're doing things that are alcoholic in nature, you're an alcoholic. No, no. Because I go for months at a time without drinking. I don't crave it or think about it. And when I do drink, it doesn't affect my life and my job and the people around me my relationships but have i ever gotten so drunk i couldn't drive and i vomited and i it was embarrassing yes yes so this is just a this is the dumbest thing i've ever heard anybody, anybody can get hammered one night and not be able to walk <laughs> they must be an alcoholic no, no 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 if you do it every weekend and you're clanking into your walls and knocking the electrical plates off the outlets like chad then you're an alcoholic. Then you're an alcoholic. When you when you are, when you get told by comedy clubs you can't go up because you're too drunk. When you can't drive. When you get DUIs. When you fall down and get oil in your face and have to make up fights. No, then you're an alcoholic. It, it has to be an ongoing pattern of behavior. If you're doing things that are drug addict in nature, you're a drug addict. If you're doing things that are drug addict in nature. These guys graduated college. If you're doing things that are narcissistic in nature, you're a narcissist. And there's no way for me. Again, the whole time he's telling you this, all he's doing is making sure you're believing him in the chat. Watch. Oh, I'm doing things that are narcissistic in nature. Well, then you're a narcissist. If you're doing things that are alcoholic in nature, you're an alcoholic. If you're doing things that are drug addict in nature you're a drug addict if you're doing things that are narcissistic chat check in nature you're a narcissist and there's no way chat check for me to get better uh there's no way for me to be a better person and be a better partner uh than to say i am a narcissist It's almost like I don't even need to go now. I Actually, I already feel better. Let me text April, see if she'll come on the show. <laughs> you know, just, just talking about this and admitting it has cured me. I don't even need to look into a therapist now. I actually, this has been a big relief. I really, really did good here. It's remarkable how well I am at getting through this. I think I handled it really, really well. I think I, I think I got through that narcissism phase of mine better than anybody. And I guess saying it into a microphone on a show is not good either. I, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I, <laughs> maybe. How else will she hear? Again, she's not listening, but 
he hopes she is. Yeah, she'd be more humble about uh, uh, being a narcissist. Um, but I think asking April to come work here was a narcissistic move. That was the move of a narcissist. Correct. Correct. Was I wanted her here. I wanted her with me. Yes. Again, this is like exactly what I said last week. I want to keep an eye on her. I want her. And, the, like, it doesn't matter what the motivation is. It, it does. It does. She cheated on her boyfriend where she worked with you, and you don't trust her because she's a philandering whore. <laughs> so you wanted her home with you. Don't be hanging out with your ex at your old work. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, April, now when did you last toss those valves aside? That's why she's always doing this. She's like, I always had to, like, screw on the paint caps. So this just feels natural. It doesn't matter that I wanted her, I wanted to be close to her. I it doesn't matter? It does matter. You ruined her life for selfish reasons. Again, what's this 30-year-old dumb bitch going to do? She's dumber than dirt. She's dumber than a pile of dog dicks. She's dumb. <laughs> she went to college and ended up painting. Again, I know that hurts some people. Like, wow, you really hate blue. She went to college and paints. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It ain't good. It ain't skilled labor. Sorry. Sorry. I, I know that really fucking, like, gets to some people, but I'm not saying she's less, she's not, she's not a human. I'm not saying she, matter of fact, she got fucked. She got fucked. <laughs> she's the innocent. He ruined her life. Again, she'd be a supervisor. She'd have, you know, whatever the equivalent of, Union tenure? I, I don't even know. Like, whatever. She'd be way better off had she never executed that that contract with Steel Toe. <laughs> it was such a dumb, dumb fucking move, and it was all about him. It was all about him. Again, a responsible broadcaster would have told her the truth. You couldn't do this if you tried. <laughs> now, look, I don't mind having you in once a month at night to, like, Talk about gossip or something like, yeah, my girlfriend's going to be on the show tonight. You, you treat her like a pro broadcaster. You told her she was amazing at this. A rare talent. One in a, she's so good at this. She's not. She's dog shit. <laughs> Anyone, no one who loves their woman would have put them through this. I'm sorry. It's just true. This was all for you. And for you to sit here now, during this big mea culpa moment where you're admitting you're a narcissist, you're admitting it was all selfish, he's already backtracking. It doesn't matter why I did it. It doesn't matter that I wanted her here. It doesn't matter that it was selfish. It doesn't matter that... It's like, yes, it does. Fuck, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I wanted... I had fun doing shows with her. I really enjoyed it. It was great. I didn't consider the repercussions. I didn't consider the impact it could have being around all the time. I you're dumb! Again, yeah, we know, we know. Apology accepted, we know. You're behind chat people. Do you understand? Everyone knew this, everyone. Brian and Shanana found it out, you know, seven months ago. This don't work. <laughs> this don't work. Everyone, everyone knew this. Everyone. <laughs> He's telling you now like he discovered it. You know what I figured out? Did, did ya? Did ya? It only took a young woman's livelihood for you to learn a lesson, which, by the way, I don't believe you learned. I don't think you're changing. I don't think you've changed. This is dog shit. I didn't consider the fact that the internet can be fucking terrible to people. Um, Doug W. said, yeah, I'm sure the photo of her wearing... Drinking a grape drink with the I can't breathe shirt, mocking George Floyd's death, isn't going to follow her around. It should all absolutely follow her around. I, 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 I'll get a billboard and put that on there. Don't hire April Imholt. 
April M. Holt, Sock Rapid Slut. April M. Holt, Litchmore. What 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 is it? Litchfield? Lynchfield? Lich. Holy shit, the Litchfield labia liquor. Just just have some legs over her shoulders. Just going down on, on Lady Racket's box. Her and her husband licking each other shirtless. I mean, no. None of this should ever follow her. None of this should ever follow her around. While she tries to get a job at every Baskin Robbins in a 30-mile radius. Again, no, this should never, ever, ever prohibit her from having a real career at Noble Roman's Pizza. <laughs> and I expected her to just handle it the way I would handle it. That's what She did. She did. Remember what she told me? You got to get better at this, Melton. We're still town. So I said, just do it the way I do it, I would always say. Well, narcissists do that. You don't want to be a narcissist. You don't want to be that guy. So I, I pushed... I mean, look, was April thrilled when she came to work here? As far as I remember, yes. She wasn't thrilled at coming to work there. She was thrilled at not having to work anymore. Again, you old fuck. You're dilute. This GM of Steel Toe Entertainment, she didn't do anything. She didn't do shit. It's evidenced by the fact she didn't know how to do shit. How do I buy stamps? You got kicked off of Twitch. Let's remember. Let's remember. They got kicked off of Twitch when they were doing shows from Matt's garage. They didn't even have a house yet. They weren't married. Up until they lost their website a month ago, when you click on Watch Live, it went to Twitch. Three fucking years. She's never updated a website. She's never done shit he's so he's like she really loved this and she loved coming here to do this she liked not painting she liked not painting it's like thinking she liked fucking you no she liked not painting anymore she really loved my kids no she liked not painting she fell in love with this job. No! She liked not wearing dickies. She liked being able to keep her turquoise bracelet on without it snagging the fucking paint hose. You're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> she loved this. <laughs> I mean, the audience can tell me the same or different. Um... But it was my job to make sure that she knew what to expect going in. She knew as he knew. And I didn't do that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, I am a narcissist. And I need to, uh, and I'll, I'll read some of the stuff in the chat here that I'm seeing. Uh, I'm going to go figure out how to be less of a narcissist. I think that's healthy. I think that's a good thing. Now, when I say I'm going to go figure it out, I'm also going to stay here. And keep being one. This will help. This will be great. Every morning he comes on the show and lies to you and tells you he's the best and they're doing the best. He's the most talented, yada, yada, yada. And then in the afternoon, he goes and sees a therapist and says, I know I'm just a cog in the machine. I'm just no better than anybody. Then he goes back to the show. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Does anyone believe this is going to stop? To say, here's what I am. Let's not do that because I don't want to be that. I don't want to... Uh, you know, string, you don't want to string people along. You don't want to like, um, you know, do that thing where, oh yeah, be around all the time. Cause I love you. And it's this and it's that. And it's like, that's, that's smothering behavior. That's, that's, you're doing it because it makes you feel good. You like the dopamine rush you get from that person being next to you all the time. But you know, what's really healthy going to work every day and then seeing each other when you get home. Again, like Ty Rivera, like a child. We all know. We all know. <laughs> Who are you talking to? We know. <laughs> you know what, guys? It's not healthy. 
It's not healthy just hanging out together all day, never having your own time or interests. Again, you don't even know what April's interests are. You don't know her. <laughs> Ooh, you, you let, he let it all slide last week. He's like, if we can't talk about the show anymore, I don't know what we'll talk about. This is like our whole life. He said that. That's a remarkably healthy relationship. When a couple goes to work and then comes home and talks at the end of the day, that's a remark. He loves the word remarkable. He loves it's like his only word. That's a remarkably healthy relationship. Last week, you guys had a remarkably healthy relationship doing a show together and spending all day together with the one you love, eating mac salad, night jerking. That was re remarkably healthy. When you were swinging in bathtubs with other couples. Sorry, guys, we're not swinging. We're, we're, the relationship's great. We're so good. It's remarkably healthy. Now she's at fucking mama's. Now she's at mama's. Now she's at mama's. You communicate with her through friends. And you're telling us it's not healthy to spend all day together. We know. We know. Do you? Catch the fuck up. <laughs> and if you work together and you never get a fucking break, you always, by not getting a fucking break, any break seems like it's a problem. That's not healthy. Do you guys get it? I'm trying to tell you guys how to straighten your lives out. He's, he's, he forgot that he's talking to himself, and now he's preaching to you? Again, that's narcissism. <laughs> so having, having a... He's almost forgotten what it means. He pointed at himself. That's narcissism. No, you guys aren't narcissists. I'm a narcissist. I'm the only narcissist. <laughs> off the show. Going to do something else. You can get back to that. I haven't seen you all day. I missed you. That's great. Let's watch a movie or something. We got to get back to that. They love move. That movies is their whole life. We got to get back to movies. We got to get back to movies. Instead of, hey, did we get that prize thing done? Hey, what are we doing on the show tomorrow? Hey, are you feeling okay? Like, to do the show tomorrow, you're going to be all right? Who wants that life? I mean, you, you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. Can you do tomorrow's show? It's your job. You're doing tomorrow's show. Don't ask her, are you feeling okay? Can you do tomorrow's show? Can you get those things out? Can you do tomorrow's show? I found out I don't want that life. Unfortunately, April found out first, but I found out I don't want that life. So they both have decided to quit the current iteration of Steel Toe. We had this all wrong. You guys won't believe this. We were doing it wrong. <laughs> I was being a narcissist. I was a narcissist. And was. I told you he's already cured. He doesn't need to go. I was. I was. He's all ready doing it i called it he's already doing it i'm not kidding i haven't seen this yet like this deep he's already doing it and that's and that's the problem i had i was a narcissist i was a narcissist. i i'm glad i'm fixed now but that was a bad time that iteration of steel toe those were bad days but we're all fixed now I was a narcissist. I am one, still. I was, and then he goes, still, still. I know it's been seven minutes since I told you guys about it, but I'm still one, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I'm still a narcissist. I've never even said those words until today, but I'm still one. Can you guys believe it? It's been 19 minutes. I'm still one. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I found out I don't want that life. Unfortunately, April found out first, but I found out I don't want that life. I was being a narcissist. I Unfortunately, April found out first. What if he would have found out first? April, uh, you're fired. <laughs> Why? I love doing the show. No, you don't. I just found out. This is not good. You're off. 
I still am. I still am. I was a narcissist. Am one still. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Guys, send in your money. I'm looking for a cure for narcissism. This is the longest he's ever gone without mentioning the goal, by the way. Uh, uh, Bass, how, uh, how low can you go? Death Row, what a scrimp nose. Once again, back is the incredible. The Rhyme Animal, the Uncannibal movie, Public Enemy, number one. 5 0 said, freeze. And Roof and Cunt still don't come. Roof and Cunt still don't come. My therapist said we should set some goals, and I told her I am the best at not hitting goals. Ah. I can show you the world, the shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, Scrimpsess, now when did you last let your heart decide a whole new girl? My pregnant wife can take care of herself. Why don't you knock her up before you divorce her, you fucking sack of shit? Why don't you get her pregnant before you leave her, you fucking spermless sack of shit? Don't do that. Now, people in the chat are saying, you don't need to go see someone to do that. No, but it would help. Like, why not? Why not have a professional tell me, hey, asshole, don't do this. Do this. Again, chat check. None of this is real. How does he think therapy works? They're going to go like, all right, you shouldn't be. All right, when you ask for the goal, do it like this. I mean, what does he think he's going to get? Hey, asshole, don't do this. Do this. Chat check. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Scarface with 499 says, bro, why are you threatening Jake Shields? Fast forward to two hours, four minutes, and ten seconds. Uh-oh. Four hours. Well, it's not four hours long. Oh, two hours, four minutes, and ten seconds. Two hours. Two hours, four minutes. Fucking boys say some shit. They better feel for our arms of Matt and I when Elisa Jordana got hit by the Uzi event. It's a moment here. In about a month or two, we're going to face a bunch of those on tomorrow's show. Here we go. We are cheering it on. <laughs> it's the funniest fucking thing. I love it, but it's horrible. And so I, I want to play a bunch of those on tomorrow's show. I'm excited about tomorrow's show. We'll get back to the April stuff in a second. Um... Give it one moment here. I want to catch up with the chat. Thank you, Scarface, for the four ninety nine. By the way, Streamlabs, PayPal, all that stuff is linked to the top of the page. If you guys want to contribute to the show. Um, Do you guys want to? Do you guys even want to contribute? The links are there. It's like you guys don't even want to. In about a month or two, we're going to drop the goal. Listen to this. Uh, April not being on the show anymore uh, and, and getting... Uh, is doing different employment. Doing different employment. That's how long it's been since these guys had jobs. April's going to be not doing the show and doing different employment. I'm late for doing employment, guys. <laughs> I've got to get my alarm didn't go off, so it's, I didn't go to do employment today. Um, is definitely do employment. And what do you do employment? Only <laughs> going to take some pressure off of this program. In a month or two, he's going to drop the goal. So April's going to get a couple months of salary to figure out what she wants to do when she grows up. For real. For real. A April's going to take a couple months and figure out what she wants to be at age 30. Now, again, a lot of this is fine. You want to go to nursing school while your husband pays, for, pays the bills? You want to change careers? Fine. She don't... I mean, what's she going to... She don't know. She don't know what to do. Um. Oh, here's uh, Moody. Know everything Moody. Narcissism is extremely tough to treat via therapy. Don't I know? <laughs> Usually it gives the narcissist a bigger toolbox to abuse people, and they'll just start to weaponize therapy words and concepts. It's really complicated. Him getting cured quickly is also a huge red flag. Yeah, I'm going to buy three sessions. I think that'll be enough, actually. Probably to gift two to friends. 
It'll be very cool. He already thinks it'll be cool to go to therapy. He said that. No, but having somebody to tell me what to do and what not to do, that'll be cool. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your offering play into the session. APAR, not only am I the best narcissist bo- broadcaster ever, but apparently I can grow my hair back and miraculously turn it jet black too. Oh, no, is he dyeing his hair? Last night I dressed in tails pretending I was on the town. As long as I can dream, it's hard to slow this swinger down. So please don't give a thought to me. I'm really doing fine. You can always find me here and having quite a time. Mac salad on the wall. That don't bother him at all. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51. Eating candy cigarettes and watching there will be blood for the hundredth time. Yes, yes. Don't tell him he ain't got nothing to do. Oh, God. It really is painful. Uh, Shit show. Show idea. People pay uh, to tell an old joke. People pay to tell an old man a joke, then pay to explain the joke to the old man, then the old man tells the people he hates them. (laughs) Single mother of five. I always hit the like button twice. You're welcome. This joke never gets old. Uh, Dang lizard, remember for eight months, I heard her body never left the house. The call, the smell is coming from inside the house. Yeah, that's why the eggs and shrimp cover up the the de- decomposing mortis. <laughs> Copper, uh, sorry, Connor, uh, what if April is the one watching in a low and throwing these things in his face? The way he's speaking, it sounds like he's responding to accusations thrown at him. Yes, that's what I'm saying, like, it's like he watched it alone. He's like, you know what? <laughs> Melton makes a lot of sense. Copper Toe Cope and Beg Show says, moment of silence, please, for the fallen sister. Toe sister. Moment of silence, everybody. That's enough. That'll be enough of that. Gary Co. the therapy sessions are 200. He pays 200, and the therapist says that counts as 160. Right. She should discount it like YouTube payments. Your therapy session is 200. I get 140 of that. Very cool. (laughs) Is it narcissistic to have fans come from all across the country as well as internationally and not tell them the location? Not sure. Uh, I only buff out rims, not a doctor. (laughs) I think I can be of some assistance here. What are you not telling the location? Is Is that what people are saying now? Is that the new one? He's keeping it a secret. He doesn't want to tell anybody. It'll be announced. It'll be announced. Someone guessed it already online. Go look. (laughs) Someone guessed it. It's not a secret. I just haven't. I wanted to like do the big reveal on the website and stuff and show everybody stuff. But like, I, again, I, it's in the worst weekend of my life. I don't have to explain why. It's none of your business. I was going to narcissism camp. Peter Sky Parker, member for 14 months. Uh, hack. Hacktester.org for all your Liam purchases. Hold on. What is that? Hacktester.org. Oh, slowest website ever. What is this? Oh, my God. Is he drunk on cringe? This is all like the same like AI... What is this? Holy shit. It's just garbage. He like gets AI designs and just puts them on a million products. What a garbage site. What a guy! Everything says Hack Tester logo, and but it's just a million different things. Hack Tester logo. And then, by the way, what is this? <laughs> what a shit! What a shit site. <laughs> um, let's hear about the goal. So we will be, my goal is to drop the goal for every. My goal is to drop the goal. (laughs) 
show by 50 bucks morning and evening. 50. Now it's 50. This ain't right. He said last week, he said it. If April leaves the show, we can drop the morning show by 150 and the evening show by 100. Now he's going to drop the morning show by 50 and the evening show by 50. We used to want $600 a day. April's gone. Five. 500 a day. And then everybody goes, April was only making 100 a day. No, guys, that's not how any of this works. I mean, A, no, but B, he's stealing from you. He's lying. He said last week 100, 150 will lower in the morning. Now it's 50? Now it's 50. Uh, but I do have to consider Johnny's going to get a raise. Johnny deserves a raise. He really does. He's really been a soldier. Johnny's going to do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday mornings. Uh, Matt's going. Wow. I mean, Johnny sucks. I'm not kidding. Johnny sucks. Look, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a good guy. I know I'm a giant piece of shit for even implying this. They just suck. I don't care about Oz or Matt or any of these guys. They suck. They suck. It's like, it's like you take movies, talent level. He's that good at finding talent. I. He can't even find someone equal with him. It's insane. Just, just, it's like he wanders outside and just throws a rock. It's like, did I hit a cripple? Get him in here. What a, what a shitty show. I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm sorry. Johnny is fucking useless. To do evenings. And I think I'll probably do Wednesday evening solo. It's kind of fun, right? One solo show. Yeah. Yeah. So I can keep my wits about me. Proved it. Proved everybody I still have my chops. By the way, did they hit the goal today? First show with no April. Did they hit the goal? At night. And then, this is awesome, man. I, I And I can't thank the- I'm really excited about the next part. These two enough for stepping up big time in a time where I really have needed them. I mean, the, these two have answered the goddamn call and more. So in a way, you saved your wife's life, and then she threw you under the bus and fucked you. You rescued your wife, and then she threw it in your face and walked away and stuck you in a lurch. Do I have it right? Again, I, I, if I know these two, it won't build any resentment, though. It'll probably be 100% healthy and natural. More ways than one. Um... Keanu is going to be doing Thursdays. She was fucking hilarious the first time. She's so fucking good. She's so fucking good. I, it's hard for me to think about my favorite Keanu segment or bit. But, like, what a talent. You thought April was good. Fuck. And we did a show. And uh, Gino is going to be doing Rumble Fridays. So we're going to be doing it that way. And uh, I'm so excited. Those... He's going to be, even if he kept the goals the same, he'd go broke. <laughs> He's going to be paying like Kevin Brennan money now, 100, 150 a show. He's going to go broke. <laughs> He's going to go broke. These two have stepped up big time, never asked for a dime. Um, but Oh, he doesn't pay them? He doesn't pay Gino and Keanu. Holy shit. Once April kind of gets figured out and we get that kind of income situation figured out, we're basically going to take every dime of it and remove it from what we need business-wise, payment-wise, and we're going to take that off the goal. So the goal will be coming down. I just don't know by how much. I think the audience can understand. I want to pay. Johnny gets paid first. Then so again, all these excuses... Guys, you got to understand, Johnny comes first. Johnny's going to get paid first. This is why we're not going to lower the goal that much. Johnny's important, and Johnny gets paid first. It's like, he hasn't gotten paid for years. Now that your wife's leaving, you don't want to lower the goal. Now Johnny's important. Guys, I think you'll understand. Johnny, Johnny comes first. 
Except for when? When April is sucking money away from the company, doing nothing. He's so fucking full of shit. He's so full of shit. Guys, I would I would lower I would lower it by what April makes. But you need to understand Johnny's got to get paid. He's never he's not been making money. Now he needs to get paid. Now it's very important Johnny comes first. It's so into, again, this is a guy who didn't give to a GoFundMe for Johnny when he needed something for his MS. When he had a GoFundMe begging friends for help. Aaron gave zero. It was a funny, funny moment on the show that Aaron gave nothing to his friend. Wow. Now Aaron is sticking it to me by being a narcissist. I, too, am sticking it to Kevin. (sighs) Ah! Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. I have too many errands open. Then we'll cut the goal for the audience. And we kind of need to figure some more things out with April. There's some more things we need to see and, and hear and do and know. There's some more things we have to figure out with April to see and hear and know. Uh, and we will do that in the future here. And the goal will go down. So I'm very, uh, look, I'm not, well, no, I am excited that April's leaving the show because. Ah! I don't know how to lie. <laughs> Look, I'm very excited. Oh, no. I'm not excited. I am excited that <laughs> fuck it. April doesn't want to be on the show. She doesn't want to be. Imagine needing a minute to figure out if you're excited. <laughs> involved in the internet anymore. So I'm, I'm glad she's leaving. It's going to free up some. I'm glad she's leaving. <laughs> Money. It's going to give a break. To the people who have supported this show, it's going to allow more people to get some time and, and, and perform. Perform! I really enjoyed Johnny's performance on the show this morning. One of the better performances. And it's going to allow Johnny to make some more money. So, <laughs> honestly, if April's happier doing this, and then... Doing nothing. Steel Toe in general benefits... If April's happier just collecting a paycheck and giving back nothing, I think that's stellar. That's terrific. How is that not a great win-win? Aaron learns that he's a fucking narcissist who's got to stop. That's wonderful. Another win for Steel Toe. This could have gone either way. But I'm glad it ended up as being a win for Steel Toe. Everyone gets more money. You pay less. April's gone. I learn I'm a narcissist. We all win. It's the best show ever, isn't it? Wonderful. (laughs) Everything's going great again. We fixed the show. We fixed the show. Uh, Roots Calhoun says Aaron is being self-aware. Jesus, bro. Uh, He isn't. He isn't. This is another narcissistic trick. This is another trick of a narcissist. Fake contrition. Lucy first, as Aaron, I told you a few months ago, your chat is toxic and you said they were just kidding. Do you think they're still kidding? No, it got way too far. Dude, when it started with the drug shit, that's when it went way too far for me. When you guys said that we were sexual degenerates, that was fine. When you guys said that we were bad parents. That's fine. You said April was on pills? I lost my shit. I lost my shit. Because she's not. She smokes meth. She's not on pills. That's fucked up, you guys. And then they would bring up my ex-wife and that. It, that that got too. And then they would bring up my ex Bring up. Have you ever quit a job because someone brought something up? They brought up your ex-wife? Is she okay? Again, I want this to be the refrain from every fucking, every time you hear a pussy do this from now on, whether it's Chad or, or Kevin or whatever, say, are they okay? He's going after my, my wife. Is she okay? What did he do? 
She have any bruises or scratches? He talked about her on a thing that she doesn't watch. So literally a tree fell in the woods and no one was around to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Is she okay? Is that after my kids? Are they okay? <laughs> Too far and that fucked with April. April, the, the ex-wife stuff and the... um. And the drug stuff uh, was not okay with her. She's like, if I try to get work somewhere, eventually down the line, she was even saying like years from now, let's say I get a job, that shit's going to follow me. I can't have that shit following me. You hear that, Citizen M? He won't have it following her. You hear that, trolls? This can't follow her. Don't start combing through now and pulling clips of April, making, making inward jokes. Making fun of Jews, being racist, George Floyd. I mean, it can't follow her. We can't allow this to affect April's. I can't. And I agree. You cannot have rumors that you're a fucking drug addict. Why? You can have rumors of anything. You can't have rumors that you're a drug addict. You can't. You can't. Uh, following you around. That's terrible. So I understand why. Again, she- they're telling everyone what they don't want. All right. So as long as all this stuff about April and drugs stops, we're all good. Okay, Internet? He had to uh, step away. That's why there's no April and drugs in this thumbnail or on this show today. Because there can be no more. <laughs> In that regard, uh, Dead Game says, "Oh fuck that! You can do that without a therapist." Yeah, I can. Yeah, I could get rid of the narcissism without a therapist. Course of antibiotics, some light jogging, sure, sure, that is a way to do it. I could do a line of, co- a line of cocaine and have a frittata. Yeah, yeah, sure. Eh, that's a lazy man's way of doing it. I want to do it the way common folk do. I want to go in and employ a psychiatrist and let her think she's smarter than me and do her thing and feel like she's contributing i can uh the whole addressing the narcissism thing by the way why did jeremy get time outed uh by the way he didn't say he wasn't going to this time someone said you can handle this narcissism thing on your own and he said yeah i can yeah you're right i can address it on my own he didn't say yeah but i'm gonna go to a therapist this time he just said yeah i can you're a fucking drug addict uh, following you around. That's terrible. So I understand why she had to uh, step away. Now listen to this. This one, he, before someone said this and he said, yeah, but I want to go see a pro. This time he doesn't say that. He's already thinking about it. You know, maybe you are smarter than any psychiatrist. Maybe, maybe, maybe going to someone dumber than you would screw you up more. Just handle this yourself. I thought we could take care of it right here in Brainerd. In that regard, uh, Dead Game says, "Oh fuck that! You can do that without a therapist." Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, the whole addressing the narcissism thing. By the way, why did? You- yeah, yeah. Good point. Jeremy get time outed. Uh, he said, "I've heard it all now, dude." People are going to be surprised that anytime someone can admit they're a narcissist, that's pretty surprising for people to hear. Again, I mean, Moody's right. Now he's bragging about his ability. To see the flaws in himself. Dude, you guys are acting like this is nothing. But believe it or not, for someone like me to admit that they're a narcissist and recognize that in themselves, it's actually very, very rare. And I'm way ahead of the curve. I I can't. Do you understand? I, I can't. He's, he's bragging about how well he's (laughs) self-diagnosed. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, why did Jeremy get time outed? Uh, He said, I've heard it all now. Dude, people are going to be surprised. Somebody got timed out for saying, I've heard it all now. Are you listening? 
He's he's kicking people out of chat for saying, I've heard it all now. It's the first line of a haiku. That anytime someone can admit they're a narcissist, that's pretty surprising for people to hear. It's pretty remarkable that I've been able to admit that and announce it here today. So if you want to give... <laughs> And yeah, I've been a, a a bastard of one. To to many uh mostly women. It's true because he doesn't have a dad or a mom. They don't talk to him since the Ashley the Rue thing. In, in my life. Uh like I said Again, all chat checking while he does this. Watch. Let me get time outed. Uh he's a bastard of one. To to many chat check. Many uh mostly women in my life. Chat, check. Uh, like I said, bringing April here was a narcissistic move. To not have thought about that until this moment is so fucking insane. To not have thought about that. No shit. Again, I didn't know the circumstances of it before, the timeline, and the minute I had it laid out in front of me, I'm like, oh, he trauma bonded with this bitch and panic married her and panic put her on as a co-host. It's exactly what happened. It's exactly what happened. Mark it. For him to not realize that till now. On my part. But in my head, here's the problem when you're a, everyone thinks that a narcissist knows what they're doing and they're calculated and everything else. When you're doing it, in your head, you're going, oh, schmoopy, I just want to be around you. I love you. And she hates her job. She was like, I hate my job. It hurts. It, it's bad. It's awful. It's, it's terrible. And I'm like, I want to save her. Yep. Yep. Again, this is out of my mouth from last week. It's like he, he caught up on NLO and went, huh. Huh. From this terrible job, I want to be your knight in shining armor and bring her here. This is the only way I'll ever appear like a strong man. <laughs> her knight in shining armor. You take off your clothes to shit. <laughs> but you know what I used to do when she had that terrible job? I used to bring her lunch and we'd sit out in my car. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. I used to bring my George Foreman grill, and we'd plug it into our cigarette lighter and just put some hot dogs on and drift away. In the air conditioning on hot summer days or in the heat in the winter. <laughs> like, uh, normal rules? We would sit in our car, and when it was hot out, we'd make it cold in the car with air conditioning. And when it was cold out, we'd make it hot in the car with heat. And when the car ran out of gas, we would go to a gas station and put more in. And when I would drive her car and the seat was too far forward, I would, I would scoot it back. And when the mirrors weren't right, I would adjust those. And every th three to 6,000 miles, we'd, we'd put oil in it. Yeah, cars! Yeah, cars! He's telling us about the climate. I fuck, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> we would sit out in her car, and if it was cold, we'd run the heat. If it was hot, we'd run the AC. Oh, the memories. What the fuck? <laughs> That's the memory? I'll never forget the time she was cold and we needed heat. Or there was that time when she was hot and we needed cold. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, more than once we did that. Hmm. The fuck is going on? What is going on? I remember we did we did a sandwich and we'd pick it up. We'd pick a side to bite first. <laughs> Just needless information that doesn't help the story at all. I've heard humans say things like this before. <laughs> like what the fuck? I'll never forget the way she ran the air conditioning in the heat. Like what? What? <laughs> I'll never forget that summer when we ran the air. <laughs> ah! Here. But you know what I used to do when she, it, it's bad, it's awful, it's... 
I used to bring her lunch and we'd sit out in my car in the air conditioning on hot summer days or in the heat in the winter. <laughs> I can't. Like. Or in the winter, heat. If that's more. And we, we'd eat lunch together. We'd have like Subway or something together. While she was at work, I'd see her for her uh, lunch break. Yeah, you said that three times. Stop trying to make the story longer with the same details. You know what I'd do? I would go go spend uh, uh, her lunch break with her at work, and we would sit in my car, and we'd eat sandwiches from, like, Subway or something. And if it was cold, we'd run the heat in the car. Or if it was hot, we'd run the cold in the car. And we'd sit, like, with Subway. I mentioned the sandwiches, and... We would eat the sandwiches in the car on her lunch break while she had lunch break in the car eating sandwiches. It's like, yeah, this is a one sentence story that you're stretching out and like, it's so stupid. And then I'd see her again when she got home at night. We know, we know, regular rules. It's, it's like, and then they would like release her from her shift and she was able to come uh, sleep in her own bed. And we would sit in the house at night and watch a movie in the air conditioning if it was hot out. Or if it was cold, we'd put the heat on and put a movie on. Or a TV show. Any any kind of programming from a disc or perhaps a digital media. But in the house. We would sit in a house and then we'd go lay in a bed. And then we would wash in a shower and poop in a toilet. <laughs> like, fuck. Um, that was awesome. Those were wonderful days. That was awesome. She used to go to work and then... She would come home, I would see her after work. It's fucking awesome. It was so awesome. I said, aren't you tired of this? And don't you want to stop? He can't, he can't. This is the problem when everything's awesome, too. Like, like nothing in this guy's life doesn't rule. Everything's cool. Everything's awesome. No, we used to get together and eat lunch, and it was awesome. And then she would come home, and I'd see her after work, and we'd, eat, we'd watch a movie. It was awesome. And I looked at her one day, and I said, this is so awesome, but you should quit. <laughs> Hello. One time, I had a wife, and all my days off, I would bring her lunch, and it was very cool. And then at the end of the day, we'd come home together, and we'd, like, ask about what we're going to eat for dinner. It was so cool. It was and awesome. After, it was awesome. We would eat. It was fucking amazing. And then after, we would eat dinner, and then we would, like, watch a movie and uh. lay on the couch <laughs> and snuggle. It was fucking amazing. Like, you wouldn't believe how cool What we have cool is it was. special. But what April and I have is too special. It's too special to not watch movies and cuddle. It's the most special thing. No one has ever done that. No one. Fuck, <laughs> I can't. Ah! <laughs> April is doing remarkably better now, but she won't be returning to the show mostly because of little Lemmy. Oh. It has nothing at all to do with the fact that my ashes are living inside Aaron's new sippy cup. It'll never be. It'll always be the grass is greener. Yeah, we used to, I used to meet her at lunch, and we would eat lunch, and then I'd see her at night. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> She's going to go back to doing that, and he's going to be like, we used to do this show together and wake up and, like, you know, it, she would just always be here. And that was so awesome. Everything was always awesome. But he can't wait to change it. It sucks that I'm losing my partner. I'm really excited April's gone. It was just great having her here. It's going to be so great with her back at her job and us eating lunch in the hot car or in the cold car, depending on Copernicus. I'm going to lose my mind. Um, love to can have those days again now. Yeah, finally, finally, we'll be able to send her off to work again. I love that. I love that. I've, I've hoped and prayed for the day Steel Toe would be so successful. April would have to get a day job. I've been waiting. Actually, this was the plan all along. You guys would never believe it, but this is actually another W for Toe. Hello. Oh, you're going to have your mind blown. Sometimes I would pick her up and it wouldn't need heat or cold. There's a few <laughs> weeks in May yeah, spring. and a few weeks in September where you don't need either. 
All right, I'll listen off air. Thank you, sir. Believe it or not, we would even roll the windows down occasionally and allow the ambient temperature to just be what is. <laughs> um, then the other thing was she wasn't seeing. The, she's like, I don't see the kids because of my job. I don't see the kids very often. And that was another. By the way, yeah, in the divorce, who's going to get the kids? As we all know, these are April's very real children. <laughs> if they get divorced, who will get the children? They're her very real kids. You know, it really hurt April when you said those weren't her kids. They're not. They're not. If you guys get divorced, she'll never see them again. They're not her kids. <laughs> Hello. Sometimes my car, it even gets a little chilly on the passenger side, and I have a little thing you might not know called dual, dual climate, climate control. control. Oh shit! I Fancy wasn't, I wasn't fancy. ready. I wasn't ready for that. Believe it or not, sometimes April would have the heat on. Eating, believe it or not, April would get a cold cut trio, and she would find it rather chilly, and she'd put on the heat, and then I'd be over there eating like a warm meatball sub, toasted. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm getting a little bit warm. And I'd put on the air. It was wild. It was wild. She's eating a cold sandwich in the heat, and I'd be eating a hot sandwich in the cold. And we'd laugh and laugh. Then I looked at her and I said, are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should record this. <laughs> Another reason why I went, well, why don't you, you can come work for me. And you, oh, man. But not. <laughs> You were doing it to help them. You were doing it because you heard their their cries of woe and you wanted to help. But then at the same time, you're also doing it because it gives you a dopamine rush to have like a savior complex. That's some narcissistic shit. And you don't know you're doing it at the time until you go back and you analyze and you look at it and you go, what would I have done differently? <laughs> Everyone was telling you. Everyone was telling you the whole time you called them losers and told them they didn't know how to internet. And now your bitch is in a fetal position taking a silkwood shower because words. <laughs> it's an old movie, Silkwood. Look it up. It'll make sense. The point is, the point fucking is, words hurt your bitch so much that she's got to go get a job. She's like, I'd rather make seven twenty five an hour than do this. Um, I was talking to someone. I'm like, well, yeah, she hated her job. And that person, I was talking to this person on the phone, talking to them about the situation we're in now. Uh, I go, I, he goes, why did you work with your wife? He goes, that doesn't work out very often. I go, well, because she hated her. So he's talking to somebody who's not even, like, close. He's like, this is why I think April's not there. He's just talking to randoms on the phone with, about their personal business. This person's clearly not very close to them if they said, why did you work with your wife? He's got so much alone time now to process all this. It's so good. He's like, I never really thought about it. her job, and I wanted to get her out of it. He goes, hey, dipshit, everybody hates their fucking job. Right. Guess what? She hated this one. That's why she hasn't done it in four months. She hated this one. That's why she don't know where to buy stamps. She hated this one. That's why she does two shows a week. I mean, you're still buying the whole April loves this job. April loves the chat. April loves the fans. April loves doing radio. She doesn't. She didn't even pop back in to say bye-bye. Au revoir, Pee-wee. She didn't even pop in to say it's been real. He gets to do it. He gets to tell you she loved it. She had a blast. She loves all the fans. She appreciates it, but she's got to move on. She loved it. She loved it so much she can't ever do it again. Can April fly solo? <laughs> that should be the name of your fucking divorce filing. Can April fly solo? No, she needs alimony. <laughs> you don't go in like uh, Richard Gere and an officer and a gentleman and pick him up and carry him out to a song. Life's not a fucking movie. Everybody hates their fucking job. It'll be fine. He's telling himself exactly what he needs to hear you're the one who thinks life's a movie you think you're in one so yeah uh bobby baloney says good news narcissists don't acknowledge their narcissistic behavior well all that means is i can get better 
if I'm not already. I actually feel better already. You know what I mean? I might never have to mention this again. Right? Uh, Roots Calhoun says, grab your skates, kids. Hell just froze over. Uh, Kips. Again, anyone buying this is an idiot. He ain't changing shit. He ain't never even going to therapy. Again, he, he's the fat girl that told you she was going on a diet, so now there's no need to diet. You already liked her post. You already liked her post. Why would she do the hard part now? She told you she was going to diet and lose 100 pounds. You liked the post. Eh, she got what she wanted, a little dopamine. Now why not go get a burger? Smith says, I like the show, but you did in Wrestling Nerd. He told you he's a narcissist. You all went, wow, man, we really hope you get better. Huh. <laughs> you know what? I'm feeling better already. Might not even need the therapist. Just you guys telling me I'm great and smart and get better made me feel. Terms, turn your heel angle into a shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I think Kip Smith is probably right. Nobody's ever said that. Right, Kip? Uh, don't worry, Aaron. You can say you're a narcissist. We all knew anyways. Thank you, Mr. Approachable. Right. Like, right. Like, we all knew April wasn't good at radio, and it was just you being pussy-whipped and emotional, hiring her. Right. He's saying everything we ever said. Now, look, he's not saying pussy whip, but that is it. He used the word schmoopy. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, and approachable, yes. Um, April did get your pa uh, care package. She hasn't opened it yet. Just She hasn't opened it. She doesn't know where to buy box openers. Just try to understand that she's wary to open anything show-related. <sighs> when was the last time you think they fucked? Because she wants to get better. Get better? From what? Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Uh, Rupert, becoming a member for his 23rd month, says, in my humble opinion, I think she would have been fine and great at it if it was radio, but unfortunately, the internet is going to internet. I'll miss her. No, that's what, that's what he wants you to believe. There is no, everything's on the internet now. There is no separation. Even most people who are listening to the radio at work are streaming it. Like this, this he's so old and dumb. He's such an anachronism of, of radio of yesteryear that, that he thinks, yeah, if we could have just gotten away from the internet and done the radio, this could have all been, no! <laughs> Good luck, April. Absolutely, and we do. You know, I, you know, she'll be great at whatever she does. Will she? I'm willing to bet. When we do find out what job she gets, it's going to be a low level, no skill position. She gonna know where the stamps come from, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, SH says, are you a diagnosed narcissist? On the other hand, does it matter as long as you take steps to better yourself and your relationships? I think if you, admit, if you say you are, that's diagnosing it. And if you want to get better, that's getting better. See? He already got better. If you say you are, then you are. And if you say you are, that's getting better. Guys, he's already better. He's already getting better. He said it. Uh, Taste Fairy says narcissists don't get better by going to therapy. They just learn how to be better narcissists. Right, right. This is exactly what Moody was saying. You just learn. I mean, I'll never forget it. I, I used to, when, when my mom died, you know, my, my dad sent me to therapy because I was misbehaving in school and all this shit. And the fact was I was just bored in school. Like, like oh, we're learning times tables? Okay, I learned that four years ago. I'm going to cause trouble. <laughs> I, I would go into this therapist's office and just fuck with her. Now, again, was I smarter than the therapist? Probably not. Did I think I was? Probably. 
But neither here nor there, I wasn't telling her anything real. I, I would fuck with her. I would make up stories that she had no idea what, that weren't made up. Little things that, she, that, that, like, my parents wouldn't even know to tell her, like, that didn't happen. Things at school and stuff. I would, I would just make up shit. And she'd get deep into it. Now, do you think that it's because of the way your mom, you know, like, huh? I just like, like, I was just like, I don't, I'm not taking you seriously. So, like, I imagine if you're like a vindictive, actually malicious person with these traits, you, you could go in there and learn, you know, I, 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 what I'm saying, I guess in, 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 uh, bomb squad school, you probably could also build a bomb when you're done, right? You're supposed to go in there and learn how to take it apart, make things safe undo the narcissism but you could in fact probably make it a lot worse <laughs> ask howard stern uh kane j says just give six months working in a public job and she will be back uh wanting to get her out of that grueling factory job isn't narcissistic says steve's guitar yeah it kind of is when you look at it from like oh i saved her from that job and look what i did and blood that's absolutely narcissistic 100 percent. yeah we told you that a week ago did you watch NLO? Um, Kurt Cobain's shotgun says you're getting a divorce. Is that is that what you're fucking? I mean, yes, but he doesn't know it yet. Again, he's just behind. I mean, very behind from the looks of things. <laughs> imagine, imagine him, the pure, pure belief of his that they're not going to get divorced. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Hello. Hello. Top two jobs that scares Aaron the most is touched by Tony. If she gets a job in a bar or if she gets a job at a gym, his mind will blow. Yeah, a bar would be real Ooh. bad. A bar. And by the way, if she gets if she gets a job where men can and will be flirty with her. And forget the fact that if she has to be flirty back, like a, like a bartender or something, like, it, you know, her tips and shit rely on her gregarious nature. It's done. It's done because, because movie cannot compete. I mean, you saw the way she licked Ricada with her eyes. <laughs> movie can't compete physically or, or mentally or emotionally and now financially with any real man. Like, he just can't. So she, her out of the house is going to free her from the bonds of this tyrant who's basically kept her in, intellectually crippled and intellectually dishonest for a long time. She's she's going to start not being like, I don't ever get to see the kids. She's going to go like, why do I care about the kids again? These aren't my kids. I'm babysitting his past mistakes. By the way, the little one, you know, the one that she has to keep a car seat in her truck for that he, like, mercy pumped into his ex-wife before abandoning her. Eek. Eek. That's why I think Friday would be a great time for our next art contest. Could we do an art contest this Friday? April M. Holtz next. Job. April M. Holt's next job. Are you with me? Friday, I'd like to see your depictions. Now, you can depict her in the workplace. You can depict her getting ready. You can depict her suiting up. Whatever this is to you, April M. Holt's new employment, April M. Holt's new job. We want to see. We want to see. Now, again, original art, always appreciated over AI art. Don't send in your AI art if it's not stellar, if it's not really packed with details. But this is the contest for this Friday. Any shirt in the store, by the way, it's your last chance uh, uh, to grab stuff from our store for the winter stuff. Last chance, for real, for real, for real, this week. Grab your stuff now. We got new stuff coming out. Um, grab it now. Join the overdose. Nobody likes names.com slash overdose. Best way to support the show and give money to the show. Most of your money stays with me when you join the overdose that way. Now, Fatty Patty says his mom died when he was a kid just to stick it to me. Why does that do that, Moody? 
He's like Kevin with laryngitis. Now, Fatty Patty says his mom died when he was a kid just to stick it to me. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, Bob Levy for Life says, forget about April. How's this guy ever going to find a job again, right? Uh, he's fucked. He's so fucked. But you're right. I, I do predict that for him. He shall need a place to work, too. Vincenzo, $2. Now she's taking <laughs> I hear she's got a cavernous canoe that could really take a $5 foot long, if you know what I mean. Pastor Delethian Gross, member for five months. It's funny when they used to speak. It's funny when they used to speak. Hypothetically, she would always say that it was his show and she wouldn't want any part of it. And no child support. I wish. Hello? This is going to be great because we're going to get to see April go through her, like, Amway arc. You know, all these MLS schemes that she's going to Yeah, oh, you think she's like a get rich quick kind of? She's going to have like uh, Tupperware and maybe she'll do like those uh, those pleasure parties, you know, where she's like selling. She can can sell like dildos to other swingers and shit. Yeah, she's totally going to do the, uh, I'm not going to try to work and I'm going to, you know, she's going to search out these work from home if you do this and this imagine her imagine her thinking that like drug rumors are gonna hurt her mlm business (laughs) (laughs) it was fucking great Great uh thank you appreciate the call uh dutch brothers employee drive-thru uh jokes on you tubby i already got my job i saw you drive off with sparks coming from your rim (laughs) you had your member out making your own creamer (laughs) fucking hell Thank you, Dutch Brothers drive through employee. Fuck you, fatty. My new job is working at the microphone factory, screwing the screws really, really tight. Now that's... She could get a job with the people at Shore. Just, just every day. Make sure those mics are tight when we send them out. Right away, boss. Nobody does it like me. Her resume is just video clips of her doing this. Can somebody cut together, like, just an endless loop of her doing this next to him doing this? It's so much. It's so much. Uh, Yeah, plug for Hackamania, by the way. Hackamania.com. Tickets now. 20% off. Use promo code NLO. Hackamania. Uh, Details on the new venue very, very soon. I got to get caught up, and I'll get the uh, website updated. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. It's going to be really fun. It's a bigger venue. Sorry to disappoint all the uh, idiots. Thank you to Teamster Tim, our video caller of the morning slash executive producer of the day. And, of course, all of the uh, high rollers and ships at sea. We couldn't do this without you and your family, your family families and their uh, well-being. She's going to get a job as the nut tightener at the Ricada house. He's got the ball, though. I imagine they're pretty tight. I imagine they're pretty tight. On the way out, would you do me a favor? Hit the like button. Tell Kevin Brennan we're coming for his wife, and when he when he complains about it, make sure you ask him, are they okay? Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for if you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul. To make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold. The family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Now loaned other radio shows a straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the youngins that nobody like Path had my homeboy Lane.